Hey, it's me, the other soul. Uh, <laughs> I have no audio and no visual from my capture card. Hmm. Like I am unable to see anything myself, but you guys have the footage. Okay, no Sigmund. I see that. My capture card seems to be functioning in all ways except for the one I needed to. I specifically tested this last night. It worked great. I was like, finally, my capture card looks good. And then, well, chat, I guess you guys can just keep running the tournament while I troubleshoot. Ooh, new HDMI cable might have done the trick. Streaming is a blow up only on console. Seems like we're good to go. Our tournament's running. If you've missed any of the tournaments so far, by the way, uh, you missed four events. All of them have been on my YouTube channel. We ran, I think it was what, Uni first, and then Skullgirls, and then Grand Blue and BB Tag, or BBCF, and then BB Tag. Those are our events back to back. But the last two have been Blaze Blue, which is pretty cool. CYF is the, an event by these folks down here, start.gg. That sends people to those two tournaments in the corners there. So two people got sent over to Combo Breaker because they won my first two events. The next three events are all qualifiers for CEO. This is the last event that's happening, by the way. This one is BB Tag on console. I hear the PC version of BB Tag is kind of exploding. This game has a bunch of in-game songs and get the VODs muted. Yeah. If people could not pick those songs, that would be awesome. Does Yang just do it automatically? I forgot about that. What do I think of this game as a whole? BB Tag is really fun. You know, when I tried the game, it was very cool to not like BB Tag. I don't know if you guys remember that era. They didn't like that I even tried the game. They were like, why are you playing this game? Play CF. I didn't really understand it because I thought the game was fun. I don't know. BB Tag is a really fun game. It's very, it's clearly a very different game than CF, right? So I was a little confused at what was even happening. Looks like we got ourselves a match, by the way. I think the names are right. Yep, looks good. Also, I see True Care has a Twitch link down there. If you're watching this tournament, uh, just keep in mind, you can also watch this tournament via anybody's perspective. So if anybody's playing in the tournament, they are allowed to stream their run. And also you're allowed to just restream and watch the tournament, you know, if that's what you feel like you're up to. You're like, yeah, this is up to me. I just want to stream it. Sounds great. Go for it. So Faded Dragon, True Care, first match. We're moving and grooving. Capture card issues aside. Bracket's been moving along. You'd love to see it. Yeah, two minute predictions is probably hard on BB Tag. Probably a little harder. Anyway, if you guys don't know this game, it's a 2v2 crossover game. It's basically Arc System Works' as answer to like games like Marvel vs. Capcom or crossover games um, from other franchises like CBS or whatever, right? So it has game uh, characters from Ruby, which is hilarious and also a little funny. But then like Blaze Blue, Uni, Persona all going to be running around killing each other in this game. Oh my god. Was that actually just a fuzzy, like, triple overhead? It's also a killing game. Uh, if you don't know much about this game, the damage can be quite high, and uh, it's very explosive. Obviously, there are assists, because it's, uh, it's a burst game, tag game. And, uh, yeah, characters tend to do a lot of life. It's a very explosive game. There are more ways to save your character in this version though, yeah? Like in this in this version of the game, it seems like regaining life and keeping your characters alive is a little easier than some of the other versions. Uh, like when I played, for instance, I feel like characters just exploded instantly compared to this version. They've had like a really big update and also rollback got added to both the console version and the PC version of the game. So you can play on both. And also, isn't it also on Switch? I don't I actually think that's true. Now that I think about it. Yeah, there are. You can tag out your characters whenever. Yeah, it seems like characters are much... They live a lot longer. Oh, that was nasty. They live a lot longer than they used to, from my memory of playing the game. But I'm pretty sure you're dead here. Yeah. I don't think there's any surviving this. Maybe? My bad. Your tricks make mockery of my absolution. All right, that's 102 here. Your apparitions make light of my very presence. Death is kinder than you deserve. Your punishment shall be eternal. Yeah, Ruby is a show. It's not like a... Well, I actually don't know. Is there a game series that Ruby is in? I don't think so, right? Which is where the characters from Ruby are Ruby, uh, Yang, Neo, and then there's like one more, right? There's like four Ruby characters in the game. Is that correct? Blaze and Wise, that's right. Or Blake. Blake is what it is. That sounds right, yeah. Get ready, get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Ruby is also, in I feel like every version of the game, pretty popular character too. I mean Yang as well, but I feel like Ruby is, yeah. She's a scythe character in a fighting game. Probably already is gonna make you not bad. Damn. That was kind of toxic. Also, you know, something about this game is like, I, I realized for a few franchises, it's like the first time some of these characters have English VO, right? Damn, that Platinum Assist seems pretty good. A little hammer drop action. Look to the low. Nice block. No, the one thing is, is like, it feels like true care so far. Yeah, there's a tag. And then the assist to punish, you love to see it. That's the thing about this game is like, when there is a mechanic for when your character's getting hit, you can tag them out and like escape the combo. But you as the attacker, a lot, a lot of times you can just call your assist and you get hit, your assist hits their tag and then you kill them. So th there's a lot of routes you can do like that too, uh, to like play around tags so you don't even have to worry about it, which is uh, pretty good too. Oh yeah, Arcana Heart too. I forgot about that. Air dash in. Nothing after though. And just a little push block on Wago. I think at this point too, like True Care has a nice sizable life lead, has meter to work with, a little, little whiff on it. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a tag. I, that was good timing. It was a little delayed. Double jump, anti air. I imagine. Oh, I was just going to say, I imagine you can kill off this, but finds a low afterwards. Dead anyway, true care. Probably going to. Oh, that's. Yeah, okay, resonance activated. I was going to say, probably going to be bad. You get some life back in resonance. Resonance is like, you know, you have, you have a bit of a chance here. Damage is good. Although you're kind of running out of time. Faded Dragon's just waiting it out. Yeah, Resonance gone. True Care has five bars to work with. As long as you don't get your assist sniped, I think you're probably mostly chilling here. All right, easy peasy kill on this. Should be one apiece. Yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, the ring you see at the bottom of the screen. Faded, hashtag faded sweep. <laughs> What a hashtag. Don't feel great to be bossed around by a kid, but hey, sure, you can count on me. That's a powerful that's a powerful hashtag. Hashtag faded sweep. I'll keep that one in the back pocket. You know, I'm pretty sure that hashtag is just from the Twitch Rivals event where someone put like hashtag uh apology man sweep team apology man sweep or whatever it was and everybody was just like yeah all right this is pretty good and they just keep spamming it there's something about it that's so funny like i don't understand why it's really stupid <laughs> i deal with kids all the time at juness go ahead do your worst who are you calling a kid you dumbass <laughs> sorry the Morbius meme? Oh my god. Is it from Morbius Sweep? I heard that, uh, what's that guy's name? Jared... I don't know. Leto? That's the one? I heard he made a Morbius joke, so Morbius jokes are done. Yeah, they're over. He made a Morbius joke, so they're, it's done. Yeah, there's no more jokes about the movie. It's over. The meme is dead. The, the jokes are over. Like, he made a joke about it, so that's how we know it's done. DP gets smoked. One thing about this game, too, is that push blocks and DP, unless they've changed them, are connected. So, in this game, trying to push block when you wanted to DP or trying to DP when you're trying to push block is... Uh, that has... I, the amount of times I said the sentence out loud, that was supposed to be a push block. Uh, probably higher than almost anything. It's like... Even more than maybe, like, yo, I tech that in another game where you just find yourself saying it constantly. Uh, it happens to me all the time. It's just how it goes. Yeah, Fade is looking good here, though, I have to say. 
Sano just died. Susan just out of there. Smoked right away. Gets the pickup on this. Hasn't activated re uh, resonance yet either. There it is. Throw gets broken. Under. I actually was gonna say that could have been a nice little dash under the other side, but Fader just like double jumped out of there. Yeah, this is probably gonna be the kill I'm imagining. Bam. Oh, maybe not with resonance healing and stuff too, though, right? Platinum gets in. I was just gonna say, all you have to do is get out of the corner here. Assist is there. Nice block on the other side. This is a chance for true care, but yeah, you got a long, long road here. Yeah, that'll do it. Goes up two one. This game is three out of five. For those of you wondering. I think of all of our games so far, the only game that we've run 3 out of 5 the whole tournament is Skullgirls and BB Tag. Every other game has been uh, 2 out of 3. Yeah, Resonance is like you heal, uh, like you heal a percentage of life and you gain meter, right? And yeah, exactly. The amount of health you heal is based on how much you called your assist before you died. So like if your assist gets immediately smoked, if you don't use the other character during your match at all and they die really fast, then you, you know, don't heal nearly as much. So it's not as powerful if you just get smoked right away of a comeback factor, right? I mean, it's still pretty nice to have. And in this game, you know, it's always possible. You could always have those moments where you hit the, the point character and the assist and then bad things just happen. <laughs> I deal with kids all the time at Juness. Go ahead, do your worst. Who are you calling a kid? Dennis? Yeah, there's a little diamond down there, exactly. Sorry. Which tells you it's like a, how much you've built it up by calling your assist or whatever for uh, resonance. It's a good way to keep uh, keep track. Yeah, the scaling of it, right? The scaling of it means that you don't just lose your point character, immediately activate resonance, and you're like, oh, this is my big comeback factor. Now you're just dead because my point character died immediately, right? It, it means that it's a much more powerful mechanic if you don't just get smoked in like the first 10 seconds. You know? Yeah, pressure in the corner looks good. There's gotta be a tag, yeah, I was just gonna say, although that's what I mean. This that was one of the most important parts about understanding and learning this game for me is like those moments where someone's gonna tag and you can just either your combo routing around the tag is safe to tag, or you can always just call your assist and then it beats the tag that your opponent is doing. Oh, just gets hit by the overhead, although there was a tag first, so Platinum takes the damage. Yeah, you can think about the tags while you're being hit like burst, but they are really hard to find good moments with you, I feel like, because of uh, the fact that you just react to the portrait flash with your assist, and then, you know, it doesn't matter. You're just like, yep, I'm out of there. Alright, this is a big chance if you can get some damage going here. Ooh, back to the front. Although, it didn't get the confirm. Oh, almost had that little air to air land goes back to the front that has hit I think almost every single time by the way that just like empty low after going on the other side has hit uh, probably at least four or five times in this set already god damn that did a lot of damage what the hell double jump for the incoming yeah just blocking a push block Yeah, universal DP is the push block in this game, and DP are the same command, and so every character has it. Although I don't think all of them are like invincible DP. Some of them are like counters or parries as well, isn't that right? I am no BB tag expert. I played it for about a week and a half, a version and a half ago. Two apiece. Yeah, there's like some parries. Some of them are parries. Yeah. Not all of them are just fully invulnerable DPs. Faded sweet. Yeah, the game is really fun. I, I've been thinking about trying it again recently, actually, because the cool thing about this game is that there are so many characters from so many games, right? There are a ton of characters. And 
if you like any of the franchises in here, like whether you like, even if you just like Blaze Blue, you can play Blaze Blue characters, right? And even if you just like Persona or, or Uni, or you think the Ruby characters are cool, right? You can just play them. You can also play the goddamn tank. <laughs> oh man, that character is hilarious. But like, there's so many cool characters. And the nice thing is, is like, if you're, let's say that you're like new and you're like, okay, I, I'm interested in trying this game. This game looks cool. I want to play it. Let's get in there. And, uh, you know, there are like characters that are, you may be thinking Blaze Blue are really hard or, or Uni or Persona or whatever. In this game, they're usually a lot more straightforward to just pick up and get your hands on, right? By its nature of being like a big versus game with a big cast, the characters are not as like, they're not going to take you a whole, uh, a whole encyclopedia of reading that to get through. You're just going to be like, okay, I got this. Yeah, my understanding is that the tank is fine. Not not super good, but like fine. Oh, no. yeah, there's a tag. You, I don't think you could uh, call the assist there, right? Because um, you will see if it's on cooldown. Damn, so I saw it back to the corner. Good lord. So is this going to hurt tag? Yeah. Nice, that was great. Jump, block the tag airborne, gets the punish. This is a this is a pretty close game actually I think. Oh my God, why? Yosuke is not even that tall. Like, how did he just get fuzzy like that? All right, just jumps over. Yep, there's the raw tag. Yeah, I don't know if she just fuzzies everybody like that. That was kind of ham. Platinum bleeding here. What's the plan? No tag. Maybe wasn't scared. Oh. That was so messed up. Jumps over, calls the DP assist, and then just tags in. Almost had the pickup, though. Uh-oh, yep. Assist gets smoked. That is huge for true care here. And I was just, just going to say, you got to activate the resonance. Yeah, just trying to run away, wait it out. Nice. Oh, the pickup though. Pressure in the corner looks great. Baits the DP. That's the kill. True Care brings it all the way back. No hashtag faded sweep. Not none. Not in here. It's just how it goes. Yeah, you see a lot of the times I feel like this game is like that where, it, you know, because of how resonance scales, most of the time when you're down, you don't see like big swings and comebacks unless the character gets clipped right you hit both you hit the assist and whoever and it's like uh oh this could be bad but you know most of the time it's not not so wild game actually i feel like characters tend to live a lot longer than before i think we're moving now by the way chat i think we're moving and grooving capture card seems to be holding up steady we haven't been live too long i think it's probably been about 30 minutes i would guess 30 to 40 minutes This is our second set of the day for the tournament for those of you tuning in. By the way, thanks for coming through and saying what up. I appreciate it. We've had five of these tournaments now. Thanks to Yield and Start.gg for uh, running these. Hey, Ruby High. Okay, this looks like a real team. Adachi now throw. Uh oh. That's a big whiff on the throw. Yeah, Ruby, uh, she, I mean, she's quite good. I don't know if she's still super good in this version, but the version I played, she's a very strong character. And she's been strong, I feel like, in so many versions of the game. Big side character, like, fantastic confirms. Huge normals. Good mix-ups. She just runs and swings at you, and you're like, oh, God, please, still stop. So she seems to me simple and very strong. She, like, gets the job done. Yeah, going in behind the projectile assist. A little early on the throw on the resonance there. Push block, challenge, jump, call the assist, yeah. I think that was to save some damage on the assist probably there. Punish with the super. Double super. Good lord. I love that pressure. Just call the assist and then just look a little low after. Alright, DP, the parry connect. This is cool. We got some damage. Although, it's this is a long road. I mean... 
Ruby has so much life still, too. I, I forgot about that voice line from Ruby. Oh, my God. Yeah, break on the throw. Don't you move. Mm-hmm, tag in. Yeah, now I can get some life back. Although, there's been some trouble catching Mystery Racer so far. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh! Oh, I thought that was going to be a bait. And there's the throw. Obita. Game one. Goes to J. Gotcha Beasley. It ain't easy being Beasley. I can't avoid fighting. Sorry, Ruby. I'd like your help, but I don't want to subject you to these endless attacks. He's got a lot to say. So does she, apparently. They all got a lot to say, I noticed that. Have you guys noticed that? He said the name of the game. Listen up, Ruby. This is a Blaze Blue cross tag battle with rollback on console. They're just chit chatting. If you want to surrender, now's your chance. They've got a lot to say, yeah. They're just chit chatting. You can just stand back and watch. Say to you, hi. You don't have to fight if you're scared of me showing you up. Roger that. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, this game has a lot of tracks from. I mean, you have to think the the franchises in here have such good OST, right? It's just like chock full of great OSTs. Even if you don't like one of the games or something, you're like, I don't like, I don't, I don't know, Persona music. People will kill you if you say that. But even if you don't like the music from that game, you have the Blaze Blue OST and the Uni OST at the very least. Yeah, let's say you hate the Ruby music. So I think that's a pretty common thing. Like you have all this other great music. Dead. Bang. Double jump. Oh, a little air dash over him. That's uh, when I was learning this game, that was one of the most common things people recommended on incoming. Just jump above people and then call an assist and then go left, right. Basically, it hurts their opportunities to come in safely and it puts you at like a very advantageous position without having to risk yourself. Man, anything. You know, you're just chilling. Although you can also change your, your timing that you come in right, on incoming. So. I think, I think this game's just over. Has meter here, too. Yep. That was messed up. That's one apiece. Yeah, the, the the delayed on the incoming definitely, I imagine, helps with that. But it, it used to be that, like, you know, you just got smoked when you came in. It's funny to think about tag games. Uh, the incoming mix-up is such an important aspect of them, and a lot of games have changed that interaction a bit, right? With uh, games like Dragon Ball and games like um, BB Tag changing on how you come in. I mean, Dragon Ball, when a character dies, you do not get an incoming mix-up, right? They just they send you back to the middle of the screen. But even when you snap, they've changed how that works for the same kind of reason, you know? Yeah, damage looks great on this. No meter either. Okay, there's a tag. Oh, did the first part of that just miss? I love the green shotgun. Is there a reason that the guns are green? I, I actually don't know. Oh my god, that did so much. Well, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you know, I've only seen that in Persona. Adachi is, what's it called? I've only seen Adachi do that in Persona. I've never seen this in this game. <laughs> That's why it's best. First of three. I've never seen, I've never seen that. It's a Naoto thing? It's not the Adachi IK? Oh, Adachi's just the setup. I see. That did so much. Is that the point of this team? That would make a lot of sense. Can we just get this shit done? I see. You can just stand back and watch. Same to you, 
You don't have to fight if you're scared of me showing you up. Adachi's the setup man for now to just oh, insta-kill you? Good lord. That seems hilarious. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Uh -oh. Yeah, that's the the pillar is like uh, part of the setup, right? Oh my god! Tag back in. Yeah, hides out of there. Uh oh. Nice. That mix-up was disgusting. Uh oh. I've been actually smoked. He is, uh, yeah, he is in a bad state. What side was that? I actually have no idea how that hit. Was that? Did that go back to the front? Uh oh. Pick up off the beam. Yeah. He's dead. Oh my god. That is absurd. Y'all live like you guys live like this every day, huh? <laughs> that is pretty good. Hey, it's Kraken Atkins. Wait, is this the next match? Kraken Atkins and Don Cisco? Is this our next match now? That's a uni team. Was it Hilda Batista? Or no, it was Hilda and uh uh yeah it was Batista, right? For Kraken Atkins. Mm -hmm. I'll take the lead, but I expect you to have my wow. It is double Batista. The only difference is Hilda versus Mitsuru. I didn't I did see a lot of this character Mitsuru when I watched this game before. Is she still as absurd as I recall? With the rapier, she has like this jumping instant overhead move. That seems really good. Honestly, her buttons in general seem incredibly good. It says cracking Askins. Did I put? Oh, whoops, sorry. Let me fix that. Oh, let me get that all. Fixed. Yeah, she was she was really wild when I last saw the game. Okay. Little zoning. If you're Don Cisco here, I don't see why not, right? You might as well, given that uh, this whole team is bleeding here. Yup, the throw right at the end as it was running out. Air dash is in. Freeze. Oh. I thought that was going to be the kill, but yeah, I guess the tag and save. At this point, though, look at your team if you're cracking Atkins. You're like, dude, what am I going to do? I'm bleeding out against Batista. How do you approach a girl who has a flash kick and a uh, sonic boom and is down backing? Like, what do you? What's your plan here? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that was so messed. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is not okay. I love it. That in incoming mix up. Why did? Why did he appear on that side of the screen? I don't know. I actually don't know why that happened, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, a lot of the characters are not quite the same as their original games, especially, yeah, you bring up some characters not being charged characters, like Batista. Oh, did he switch to 9? You mean 9? Okay. Um, But uh, a lot of the characters also don't have the same mechanics. A lot of them are a little bit easier than their games, like they're a little bit more straightforward. Easier to pick up. Like, I played Yuzu in this game, and I played her in this game because I was going to play her in Uni, but I played Byakuya instead. And I was like, she takes a lot of work, I'm just going to play Byakuya. And then in this game, Yuzu was like really fun for that reason. A lot of characters are like that. In the chat, Don Cisco says, I'm getting counterpicked? No way. Yeah, 9 in this game, too. I would play 9 if I played this game again. I didn't know who 9 was when I played this game, though. I hadn't played any of these I only knew the uni characters. Oh. Yeah, this looks bad. Oh, my. That's the problem with that situation, right? Is you're just blocking left, right? Like, please help. Oh, my God. That She has that as an assist? Oh, that's so messed up. 
That seems tight. Oh man, nine seems messed up in this game too. No confirm off the gun. Nice pickup. Yeah, but you're dead though, right? Yeah, that'll do it. Hold in some space. It's okay. I like the thing is here. Yeah, I was just gonna say. You have resonance. Also, nine is really low. Uh -oh. oh my chip! Holy! Sh oh, flash kick whiffs. There's the punish. There's a lot of meter here, though. Uh oh. That did so much chip, by the way. Yeah, resonance, right? Yeah. Resonance makes you do all that extra chip. Oh my god, do not tell me Batista is just gonna zone out here. Oh no. I think if you're cracking Atkins, you gotta get in, right? Oh no. The flash kick on the dash up. You don't have to charge it. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. That was looking a little scary. I had some meter though to get the job done. Yeah, watching Batista do running, run up, flash kick, anti air actually hurt my bone. I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna wake up with just my shoulder blade twitching in the middle of the night and be like, "Oh yeah, that's what that was." Get ready, Get ready. That did so much chip. Yeah, that did quite a bit. Can't escape from crossing fate. Alrighty, game three. That round start seems really consistent, by the way. I don't think we've seen any attempt to challenge it because, uh, yeah. I mean, it seems pretty good. Just like Mitsuru swinging and then calling the assist and then doing the charge after. I think uh, Kraken Atkins teleported through the first part of that and then the second part hit. Yep. You just have to wait to see when there's going to be the tag. No tag, just stays in with the piece here, runs up, finds the flash. Good. Damn, it comboed into the orb. Yeah. This is really scary though because although Kraken Atkins team is really low here. Oh, that is so bad. Yeah. I think she was dead. Had to tag out. Uh oh. Batista got smoked. She took a ton of damage there. No, oh, the instant overhead. Resonance. Oh my good lord. That is so messed up. How do you block? How are you supposed to block? She just like instantly rising overheads you. From so far away, and you just explode. Yeah, it's just a straight vertical rapier hit to your head. Allow me to say thank you very much. Oh, that just cracks me up. Get ready, ready. I gotta say, Mitsuru looks really fun. So does nine though. Watching her, yeah. Wa look at this round start. I don't know if it's gonna change, but Don Cisco has literally done the same round start every round. It looks so good. It's just like far button thrust plus assist run in for the mix. Like that looks so. Like yep, that's just how it is. This is your life now. Nice block. Oh, I tried for the throw a little early though. Is it the Ruby song? Uh. Hey there, gamers. Gets the hit into the corner. <laughs> and uh, pressure looks great, I gotta say. So far, I'm. it looks fantastic. <clears throat> Just let me know, chat. Thanks, Rooster Teeth. All right. Uh, pressure looks awesome. Dying. Actually exploding here on the Mitsuru. One more hit to do it. Super's out. Both of them got absolutely deleted. Good lord, like my VOD. Reversal Super. I got hit by the second part. I mean, at this point, this is looking pretty rough. Your team is bleeding out, DP. Oh, this is a big chance. 
Yeah, has the mirror for the projectiles. Uh oh. Nine's in trouble. Break on the grab looks great though. Uh oh, that's both for a second. Never mind. Still alive. And this defense from Kraken Atkins is great. Playing really reactively and neutral, doing a good job stopping the approach. Oh my god, what is happening? They're both dead? No. Batista left. Oh, the run under flash kick, but the nine in the back. That's what your homie is there for. That's why your homie is there. You see that? Nine was like, nah, you're just going to come in here and smoke my homie. Kill. Like, for no reason? That was sick. All right, that's two apiece. Let me know if this song is okay. Just, just keep me updated Can't if the, the audio is uh, looking good. If you're a Yang player, you're killing each boy. Yeah, that's instant over it. That is, that seems so, I gotta say, that seems so incredibly good. But I guess in the context of the rest of this game, you know, that is, yeah, every time I see it, it makes me mad in like a good way. Bait on the tag looks great here. Not much you can do though. You need your character to live, right? Goes low. Nine's gonna get deleted, right? Yeah, this this looks like a game in the video game. She's in a bad spot. Runs up for the throw. Does not block the tag. Alright, big champ. I recognize that button. I once watched like a 30 second video on how to play this character Yumi. I'm pretty sure, and I, I think I recognize that fan button. This is, looks pretty tough, though, I gotta say. Don Sisko is just chilling. Big lead. Uh oh. That is so man. Having a running flash kick with Batista, that doesn't that doesn't seem okay. It's really lost a lot of life there though. And the problem is if you try to jump, she's just running flash kicks you, right? This looks this looks hard. I Okay, this is a big chance. The tag. Oh my. Set up here. Dashes back. Oh! The bait. That's. Oh, that instant overhead. Yeah. Uh oh. Suddenly, this isn't looking so good anymore. Yeah, I think you gotta approach if you're Don Cisco, maybe. Nice block. Uh oh. That's gonna whiff, right? No whiff punish though! Okay, but lands on the electricity anyway. Okay, in resonance. All this light back. Assist is dead. Uh-oh. Is this a chip moment? No. Not when they're both in resonance. The damage! Enough. Oh my god. What in the hell just happened? I have to say, the mirror seems very good, also. It's funny watching this game because so many of the spells from CF where I'm like, those are all right. Yeah, you can use those, right? They they seem so much better in this game. Fairy doesn't disappear in this game. That seems ham. All right, our next match. Cake and Bojack. Bojack's thing says zoning is cheating. The card before the match says zoning is cheating. <laughs> Wait, can we play it? No, this is uni music. We're alright. I'm tired of this. It's your case now. Can't escape he is yeah, look at the team he's fighting. Batista Rachel is like tiny zoner gremlin energy for sure. <laughs> I got the power of the win. Nice block. A little push block action. Time for some pressure. Trying to get the sandwich. Nice double jump. 
That was good, actually. Good uh, defense, good movement for Cake. DP's out. Mixed up behind the beam. Nice block. Yeah, and then DP's after. I'm not sure, actually, if you're going to try to burst here or get out or not, right? Because, like, man, that was a lot of damage. Uh oh. Oh my god, nice defense. That is so fast. Good lord. You got to guess, huh? It's one of those situations. That overhead was real fast. You're not seeing any of that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Her cannon assist sets the, uh, the bad things on the screen. Oh. That seems really good. Yeah, that seems great, actually. If you're a Rachel player. Dead? There's a tag. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. You do have resonance, though. Well, you did have resonance, though. Oh, no, a pixel. Gotta pop. Damn. It was a good try. Zoning is cheating. Alrighty then, Charu. Yeah, it is how it goes. Dude, this bracket is flying. Good lord. I just looked at where we are in the bracket. Good lord. This is a top eight qualifier, is it not? Or is it the match right before? This is the match right before. Winner of this plays uh, Caterade for top eight. This bracket is moving. Winners is flying, yeah. Winners is flying. Losers has got to catch up a bit. It's okay, though. We got time. What will be? Damn, Azrael Ruby. Character swap. Azrael is actually really different in this game, right? Isn't he like... I don't want to say more work. I don't know if that's the right description, but... Like, he seems like a bit... He seems like tougher than I would have expected relative to the rest of the cast. That did so much. <laughs> Well, yeah, like compared to BBCF, where people just call Azrael a gorilla character who, who flails, which, you know. Dude, these. I have to say, she is way too fast. Yeah, that is way too fast. <laughs> like, that mix up is way too fast. I'm looking at it, I'm like, good lord. She actually just zips right to you because of the wind. Does she not have the wind gauge in this game? No. Well, kind of, I guess, right? This is huge. A lot of damage here. And you are you have a ton of meter. Air dash is in. There's the super. Uh-oh. No combo after it. Fly all the way across the screen. Finds a little low. A little tap tap. And that'll do it. How are you, you know, you're only human. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, that is, he, Bojack is simply a human being. And then that mix-up happens, and you're like, okay. Get ready. You know, that's just how it goes, I suppose. Yeah, there's eight instant overheads in a row. And you're just like, let me just block this real quick. Let me I'm going to block this whack-ass mix up. Eight instant overheads in a row. You're like, all right. Almost, almost got it. Yeah, to be fair, like, Azrael got two hits last game, or three hits, and, like, both the characters were kind of exploding. So, if you simply find another hit, you know, that's a DP. Little dash through action here. There's a tag. I don't think I don't know if there's an easy way to call that out there, right? Because you already have user assist. And maybe that normal wasn't jump cancelable. 
Uh oh, clothesline. Good lord, he clotheslines you to death. Uh -oh. oh, both got hit for a second. Nice block. Super's out. This looks great. Chance for Bojack. I think you kind of have to chase down though before, yeah. Tags out. Rachel's healing. Ooh, that's big. Across the entire screen, there's the tag though. I mean, Bojack needs one more good one. Uh oh. Oh my, that is not okay. The tag gets smoked. Oh, it was like right during the activation, right? I'm pretty sure Kate could just see that it was happening. Goes low this time, fake out, goes instant overhead seven more times dead. Hand in action, slides back to the front. Air dashes back over to fake like you're gonna go cross up. Look at her fly. I don't know if this hit. Okay, she got punched in the head. You gotta wait out this resonance, I think, right? Oh, no punish! Uh oh. Uh oh, okay, this is great. Cake is chilling. We're gonna have that much meter. Goes low, calls the assist. Chilling. I think Batista does need to get out. Yeah, use the drill for the tag. Runs in, nine overheads. Flies all the way in. That is just absurd. <laughs> that is just absurd. This is a violent video game. You know when people are like, violent video games are corrupting our youth? They don't mean Call of Duty. They mean BB Tag. That's a 3-0 for Kate. That's what they are talking about. When they say violent video games are corrupting our youth, they're talking about BB Tag. Bill Clinton was like, cross tag battle with your friends. And everybody was like, yes. Maybe once the Strive patch is out for a little bit, I'll jump back on and try some BB Tag. I hope... If the PC version especially gets uh, fixed. <laughs> That's a big factor, for sure. Get ready. I'm a PC gamer. Get ready. I'm in SOCOM. My destiny is Ragna. Are there a lot of Ragna players down here? Yeah, I played Yuzu Ak Akiku Yuzu, I guess. To that later, just get away. Damn. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! This stage is nice cool. Try. It's like um nice try. It's like the beach theme from Street Fighter, except you can play on it because it doesn't obscure your, your feet. And it looks cooler. This is a cool looking stage. Also, I forgot Heart was in this game. She's the only character from Arcana Heart, right? Oh, let me swap the name. Sorry about that. She's the only one, right? It's just, it's just Heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's good damage. I was watching uh, CB actually, and uh, did Yo Fave Scrub win CB for CB Tag? I know. I'm pretty sure your favorite card was in winners finals, at least from what I saw. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw they were playing Ragna, Ragna Ruby, which like to me seems like a great team. I'm like, yep, I'm all about it. That seems like you're playing some BB tag. Activates resonance. Nice block back to the front. That was impressive. Oh, that hit so high. I cannot believe that assist reach. No? Why did she do the little heart at the end? That's game one, duck. Homing dash? <laughs> That's a super dash to you. It's not from Arcana Heart anymore. Yeah, I mean, having a homing dash is a pretty powerful mechanic, right? I mean, people do not like super dash in Dragon Ball. It's the same, it's like people complain about it there. They call it auto neutral, right? Uh-oh. Yeah. 
Dude, that is a lot of damage. Good lord. DP's out. Gets punished. This really hurts, right? You can't tag if it's a DP punish. Oh my god. Is she gonna die? Okay. Not quite. Do you have to find a way to get... Yeah, Ragna in. There it is. Oh no! That's both! Not... Okay. I mean, there, was, there wasn't, like, meter to dump or anything, but that was... That was not good. Ruby back in. A little stagger pressure there. Tags back into Ragnar. Dude, Ruby is bleeding for sure. As a Fuzzy. There's the tag. Oh, and the whiff. That's a punish. And there's no bar on uh, that side here, right? So. That should be the kill with the drill. Damn. Incoming mix up here. Holding the corner. Resonance, a little whip. That's dead. Man, that, that game looked like it was great. And then all of a sudden, it kind of all slipped away. I wonder how often, you know, just the dash in or, or wait nothing makes people try to push block and then they get DP. Or they try, they DP thinking it's going to be something and you're like, oh. You know, I um, I have heard a lot of, there's like mixed things. Some people like the sprites from certain games, some people don't. It's a mixed match. Any kind of versus game like this will have, you know, is that a double over? So we'll have some sprites that people love from some and some. That's okay. Alright, text the other way. Oh, that is unfortunate. That seems really nice to have in this game, actually. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. Looks low. Great block. Air dash is in. There's a push block. It's so funny when you do that and then you get stuck in blocks. Then Ragnar's just standing there watching, like, damn. Heart has hands. Nice. Overhead connect. No meter for Yofei Scrub here. Oh my god, that is so late. Yeah, this is rough. Your team is absolutely bleeding. Oh, that was a big chance too. That looked that looked like it was gonna be both for a second. Air to air. Instant overhead. There's a tag right away. Oh, Ruby should be dead here, right? Yep. Oh, and then that's one of those things, I have to say. That's one of those things that's like so, you know, in versus games, just like up back or up forward or honestly jumping or moving and then just calling a, an assist defensively like that is very good. Ducks up 2-1. Yeah, a lot of the characters, like, some of these sprites are from games or franchises that are pretty old. Like, BB, you have to think, BBCF, like, the last version of BB is already itself pretty old. But, like, when the original sprites for BB were done for this version is a long time ago. It's not like it's new, right? Like, CF itself is a pretty old game. I mean, same thing for Uni and Persona at this point, too, right? They're quite old, so... Yeah, exactly. CF is, like, the last version of the game, so obviously those sprites are not new, and that was 2015. So just think about it like that. Like, that, the game was made before that. EP block and punish. This game looks miserable for Duck. Yeah. Oh, the tail end hit. The little blast at the end. Damage looks great. Calls the assist plus up back. Mm -hmm. 
Gets the hit, has a bar to dump here. That'll do. Two apiece. That would be funny if Arcana Hearts, if her if Hearts Sprite was like from the Arcana Heart game, you know, a decade ago. Get ready. I don't think it would really fit. Yeah, she looks great though. It's cool that they. I think it's really cool that they um they redrew her sprite specifically for this. It's a cool little game, you know that. They should make another BB tag. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Wow, I'm surprised I hit all the way up there. Ooh, and the punish. Bring her all the way down. You know, I feel like having a move that is a pinwheel from all the way up in the air all the way down to the ground seems pretty great in a game like this. Throw, super. Yeah, I don't think you can, uh, you can't burst right because of the super. Can't get out of there. A little sandwich action here on the resonance. Oh, DP hit both. <laughs> on both sides, why not? I would hope my DP hits on both sides. Yeah, this is a super advantageous game here for Yo, Yo Fave Scrub, but. Gets the hit. DP's out too risky. Mm -hmm. Lands on the tail end of some Ragna. This has got to hurt too. You have bar to dump here, almost four meters. And that'll do it. Easy peasy confirmed, dump some supers. Cleans it up, down to one and brings the set all the way back. Nicely done. That was getting a little scary. I was like, damn, is the CB champ gonna be sent to losers before top eight? It cleans it up. Scrub looking kinda cute. Why you gotta just say scrub like that? Razo plays Carmine, right? Or am I wrong about that? I think Razo couldn't play today though, actually, because uh, DreamHack Dallas. They're in Dallas, and we're trying to figure out how to play in the tournament like while being in the venue. I remember back in the day, a lot of people would do that kind of stuff for like uh, MK tournaments, for instance. There used to be this ESL online weekly thing they would do. And MK players would like be at big E tournaments playing like in the hotel room, trying to qualify for the ESL tournament and then go play their pools for like whatever tournament. So, you know, it's not unheard of, but maybe Razo just couldn't find an easy way to play. I, I recall that happening. Top 16, let me get that adjusted. Yeah, this that is correct. These are top eight winners qualifiers here. If you do exclamation point bracket, you can take a looky-loo at the, uh, the bracket. Uh-oh. This looks like a scary spot real early. Yep. There's the tag, hits both. Yeah, I don't recognize this song either. What game is this from? It's an Akatsuki song for the tank? Ah, that makes sense. This, this song is pretty tight. This is not what I would imagine the tank theme to sound like, but I am, this is a great song. Or like, I guess it's the opening of the game, yeah. But it came when the tank got added, I guess. This is great. Oh, I guess this is also in Uni, right? Yeah, this doesn't sound as good as, or this sounds better than the Uni one, I think. Dump the bar. I think Yumi's just dead, right? Yeah, just nine coming in solo. Mm -hmm. Finds the hit. It's not gonna kill, and obviously resonance is a factor here. Alright, activates. 
This is a long resonance timer too. Uh oh. Dude, that did so much chip. Good lord. All right. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I think it's probably just waiting out the end of this resonance. Susan's back in. A little air to air looks great. Oh, and it went the wrong way. That is unfortunate. Yeah, the damage on this looks awesome, by the way. And there's meter to dump. Not gonna spend it though. I don't think it would have killed. Sandwich action that should do it. Super, bam! All right, almost didn't work out there. Almost the makings of a miracle, but good control there at the end of the match. You know, Kraken Atkins trying to make something happen with nine down quite a bit. Yeah, this is the intro. People were saying it's the opening for a COD game. Razo, I think Razo couldn't make it. I could be wrong. I thought Razo got DQ'd. Because I'm pretty sure of the Yolden tournament. But I could be wrong about that. Yeah, get the great dream hack. Razo's over in dream hack. Oh my god, this does so much. They're both getting smoked. Oh my. And she gets the Navy pressure at the end. This, this game might. It's. Okay, DP doesn't get baited. Yeah, this game is not looking. It's not, uh, everything's coming up. Kraken Atkins here. Punish? Wait a minute. That's Susan damage. Super? Hold up. Hold up. We got ourselves a chance here. Nine's coming in. They both, they're just a smidge of life. All right, pop the resonance. Uh oh. Jump over? Yeah, Ruby finds the hit. Susan's flexing in the background. Falling mixed up looks low. There's a chance here. I mean, this could happen. It looked so good for Monkey, and then. You know. It still looks good, though, because of this position here. Push block, mirrors out. Uh oh. Susan's dead. Uh oh, resonance pop, gonna heal some life. Runs in, looks low, good block. Key block, you really needed that there. Oh my god, that lasted for forever. I guess it lasts for forever in Blaze Blue too. Nine bars, so much meter. Oh, no block this time. Yeah, that was a juicy Astral. That's 2-0. That game almost turned around. I have no idea how. It looked miserably bad. Get ready. Ruby's one of nine's worst matches. Is it because Ruby just like dashes at you and swings with big normals? I imagine if your character relies on projectiles or wants to hold neutral, Nine's probably pretty good against you. Yeah. Nine's movement can be very useful, I feel like. Well, from playing Blaze Blue, right? Her movement can be really good or like a hindrance depending on the matchup, you know what I mean? That's sort of typically the case with any character at WoW. We're universal overheading. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? With any character who has weird movement, that's typically the case for them. This is so bad. This game looks so bad. Man, you gotta feel like this is a pretty rough game here for uh, Kraken Atkins. Down a ton. Barely, barely even got 9 in, and 9 got destroyed too. Although, chance here. Yeah, this is big. Tag. Nice. Alright. He's gonna take some damage here. Oh, yeah, super's the super. God damn, that did so much damage. Good lord. 
Oh, but didn't get the end of the combo. Ruby's alive, just barely whiff on the DP. Kraken Atkins bringing it back. Resonance level's pretty high there. DP's out. Still hasn't? Hasn't popped. Might not get to. She has meter for the super. Bend that bar, dead. Oh my god. How did he win that game? I feel like every single game, Kraken Atkins has 10 HP on both characters. Face me again and I will not be so generous. And then that's just how it goes. Yeah, there was a little drop earlier too that hurt. Get ready. Well, we have a uh, two one. A little chance here, Kraken Atkins. I mean, you know how this game goes, right? Ooh, we have a character switch too, huh? No more Susan. Adachi Yumi instead. Maybe feeling like it's a bit of a liability. Or no more Ruby rather. And the Yumi now too. Yeah, total total switch up. Interesting. Uh oh. Help. Why does that do so much? Oh, did you see the little autocorrect there? <laughs> That's the kind of thing that makes me mad. When that happens to me, I get pissed. Nice. Oh, but then the, the tail end of the, the um, super active push for away. DP, but the assist still hits. Blocked on a navy pressure. Nice air to air. That looks great. Pick up on the assist. Oh, it looked like that was supposed to be more into the corner actually, but she was too far. Just hits a button. No kill though. Chance here. Air dash mix up. Oh, it pushed away too far again. Not dead. Kraken Atkins clinging to life here and then gets smoked. Just solo nine, but she has so much life. She has so much life and a, a chunky resonance here. Yeah, activate. Okay. I feel like Adachi maybe could have died there. A lot of meter being built. Oh, and he's dead. Resonance right back. Yeah, I mean, Kraken Atkins has tons of bar to work with. Big old chunky life bar. Oh, with punish. Oh, I was just gonna say that should probably be the kill. Kraken Atkins chilling. There's not, you know, no reason to overextend here, right? Yup, plant here action. That'll do it. No reason to do anything too risky there. You just chill, relax, get the job done. A lot of yeah, a lot of drops though, but it all worked out. Do we see a switch back though? That's the question. Get ready. Mm -mm, it's a Dachi Yumi again. Let's see. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. All right, last game between these two. Damn, two of our top eight qualifiers in a row going to a last game situation. Runs in, tries to find a little low action. Good block, though. Yeah, mix up behind the beam. He gets blocked, so I like that Kraken Atkins uh, is just chilling here. Uh -oh. And Monkey just like backing up, resetting, and then going in for more. After is, I think, very good. Mirror's out. And uh, I think getting nine in here is probably pretty important. Yumi was kind of getting smoked. And also, I think I feel like nine is Kraken Akin's best character. Nice. Uh, but again, I feel like. Oh no! He's dead. How many times is it just going to be this solo nine? Oh man. That is brutal. That feels so bad. I 
I mean, she's just getting deleted. And there's there's double super here. Dead. Oh man, that was tragic. Kraken Atkins was looking like a hero, and then it all came up at the end. Clutch. That did so much damage, by the way. Well played there. Monkey's moving in the top eight. We have our other side here. It's, we have Caterade and Cake. Oh, is this already ready? Let me Get fix the name. Caterade versus Cake. Get this all set up. Man, they were in the lobby so fast, I didn't even have time to go back to me before it was already back to the match. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. Wow, what a team. I don't think we've seen Caterade on stream yet, but uh, before this tournament, I was told that Caterade was quite good. Akatsuki Naoto is like... Yeah, that is a weird team. For me, I don't think I've seen these characters much in this game. Cake we saw earlier. Out there's two Naotos. <laughs> nice. So far, uh, Caterade has been really hard to pin down, right? Uh oh. That's kind of changed here, though. But, like, the movement was great. Akatsuki just unfortunately getting picked apart. Uh huh. Tag gets in. Oh, nice break. That's gonna hurt. And it's on both. Yeah, four, both characters getting smoked like that. Oh, that could have been a chance to get a little whiff punish. Didn't get it though. Man, I gotta say, this looks rough. This this does not look good. Yeah, I this feels like how are you supposed to get in against these two? And now that you have such a big life lead, yeah, you see Cake is just kind of not engaging, right? I mean, if you have the mix-up here, you'll go for it. And if it works, hell yeah. And if it doesn't, then I think Cake's just going to fly away and then do some zoning. Yep. Just fly out of there. Call the assist down there. If it doesn't hit, who cares? This looks brutal. Look at this. Cake's just like, all right, I can just fly away. I don't have to engage. Like, every time you fly over, you call the assist. You see that? Yeah, called the Batista assist and then tagged into her. So you don't have to go in. That is, that's how you do it. Anytime you're in danger, you just go for that tag there, right? Bring, bring uh, Rachel back in, fly all the way over. Mm -hmm. Looks good. That strategy is uh, as old as versus games themselves. It's a, it's a tried and true. You always do it, right? You fly over them, you call the assist, so your assist's not in danger, you can't hit them. And in this game, you can switch back into your assist, right? So what happens is you fly over, and then if they're going to maybe hit, hit uh, Rachel, you just tag back into Batista. You know what I mean? So that's the strat. And then if they do get near you, and you have a chance to get a mix-up, great. If it doesn't, then, you know, everything's fine. Get ready, ready. So yeah, it's, uh, this is definitely one of those Caterade needs to chase, get in, get the hit, bait the tag, get another hit, get the kill. Like, and if you can't, then you're going to be in trouble, I think. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. I've talked a lot about in a lot of these tournaments about how important it is to chase, you know, like, and how one character is like chasing the other, attacking, defending. This is uh, one of the best examples of, like, if you don't get in and make this shit happen, you are dead. You are so dead. And not only do you have to make it happen, ooh, you gotta make it happen like this. Yeah, where both characters get hit and there's no, there's no tag. They just take a beating. The thing is, is that this game is still so far from over. You, yeah, you need another hit. Tag does not get baited. She gets space to room. Uh, she gets room to move and space to get out of there. The thing is, is that as good as that start is, you might never catch them again. You know, that's that's the scary part. You might not catch them again, but they're low enough on life that maybe it won't matter. Mm -hmm. That's a good start here for Cake. 
I like that pressure, just running in blocking, jumping forward. Nice, got a bit of damage on Rachel. Or on um, Batista, rather. Oh, that's big. Chance here, baits the DP. Dead, okay. Resonance. Yeah, this looks great. Pressure on this is going to be really hard to deal with. Empty low on the other side. Caterade with the game. That's the messed up part, is when you do that cross tag like that, you can just go back and forth between the two characters. So blocking it is like... It's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. Like, you just get stuck and you get stuck with the left, right, overhead low, same time. Like, yeah. Unblockable, yeah. It's just like, what are you going to do? You just get stuck in those situations, you're like, well, I'm dead. Get ready, ready. That's how it goes. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. Here it goes though. Game so you saw like Caterick got the hit and did eighty percent life to both characters. And it was still close, right? Like it still could have, it still could have gone south. So that's the kind of round star or like situation you need in the game to work out for you to make this work. Oh, that was nice. Use the Tista for the mix up there. Okay, big chance. All right, damage on this looks good, too. Uh-oh. Where's the tag, though, is the question. Ah! Yeah, she gets out. And she gets the hit. Using the assist for the pressure. Break on the throw. This is still... This is still looking pretty tough. That's a huge hit, though. Big chance. No opportunity to break until now. Oh, look low. Nice. Okay, so timing wasn't perfect there. This is this is big. You gotta get out. Although Rachel has to come in. Yep. So even though Batista ran all the way to the full screen, there was a chance for Caterade to get the hit there. This hurts. This feels pretty bad. Wow. And there's the tag. Good block. Good blocks again. Just hold. Just you know, stand blocking the overhead. Kotsky assist miss. Okay. Go to the other side. Nice. Okay. Yeah, tag just to avoid that mix up. Air dash is in. Oh, it hit both and it killed a Kotsky. Oh, that sucks. Has resonance here, but again, you have to chase and make something happen. DP hits both. And she's dead. Okay. Oh, the throw. And she has so much meter here, too. She's about to get the nine. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, my God. Help. The chip damage. Good Lord. Now just a pixel. This is bad. You got You can't get hit by a single thing. Simply block correctly. Ah, yeah, that is rough. What are you gonna do, right? Man, that did so much chip. Where does health go? It's gone. Yeah, that's the worst part. It's like, even though you can get chipped out there, being on a pixel against a zoner means if a projectile taps you, you get hit low by a little tap. You get hit by an overhead. Like, it makes it so that every single mix-up is an instant kill on you, or if you get hit by anything on the screen, you're dead. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. And neither will we. All righty here. So we got two on. Taking the lead. We'll see if Caterade can catch uh, catch either of these characters and get a chance here. It's hard though. You can just tell when someone's movement and uh, and team is like this. It's very hard to chase them. 
Cake's been doing a good job of avoiding these scenarios too. Wow, that did not turn around and hit from behind. That is so crazy. Man, that feels bad. Yeah, he gets hit by the drill. Okay, there's a tag. All right, that seems not great as a punish, but it's, it's maybe all you can get, right? Uh oh, scary whiff. It worked out though. Damn the parry. The only problem though is you, you may parry all these fireballs, but you still gotta get in. You know, you still gotta make it past all this. Parrying it is pretty nice. But man, Haterade's gotta get in. This is truly just chasing and hoping for the best here. Oh no, I just spent the bar and now Koski has a chance to die. Does not though, he lives. For a second at least. Yeah, cross up. No bar here though. Yeah, DP's out. Goes low. This looks so brutal. All right, successfully tags in, but man, this is bad. Okay, chance. Oh, and she lives. DP's through. Oh, and it kills him too. <laughs> they both die. All right, resonance. Oh man, I cannot believe he died. And now that'll do it on this set. Ah, oh, brutal. They both just died. That feels so bad. I love Rachel Blazeblue. Is that her name? Batista Uni. Oh, man. That was brutal. Cake moving on to the top eight winners. Looks like it's going to be Yo Game Wizard versus Ligma Person. You got to get normal names. You can't keep doing this to TOs. You know, I've accepted after but 69. Nothing can phase me, you know. Like, if you're going to be that blatant, that is how it goes. Hey, it looks like someone's finally not joining, which means I can say, what up, what up chat? Thanks to star.gg for making this happen. At the end of the day, top four of the bracket's gonna get paid out. And the other nice thing is that the winner gets sent to CEO in Daytona, Cal oh, California, Daytona, Florida. It has been shown so far. The two people sent for combo breaker did awesome. Fox of one uni and then got fourth place in Melty Blood. And then uh, Triv got fifth place in Skullgirls, only losing to Sonic Fox and Pen Pen, who were first and second in the tournament. So, you know, if you're going to make top eight winners and then lose two games, it should probably be to the two people that win the tournament and get second place, right? Looks pretty good. And then Monarch won BBCF the last event and then got sent to C, uh, is going to get sent to CEO, one CB also. So, you know, your chances of doing well if you get sent out seem pretty good. Is person actually this person's name? Because the, the Smash GG says person. It says Ligma person. Oh, is it Razo? Razo has the cursed PS4? That's funny. I know people with cursed PS4s Let's too. There's a, a regular of mine whose P PS4 is cursed. They, they have like a phantom inside their PS4 making it not work. I promise. Nice. Wow. Yumi Adachi again. This team seems pretty popular. I'm assuming these characters are strong. That beam, I gotta say, looks pretty good. He just has the power up to do it, right? No, he can just do the beam in this game? Really? He just has it? That seems great. Wow. Alright, blocks so far look good. Oh. Until I said it. Nice. Oh, I thought that was going to be both for a second, too. This is a lot of damage. Yeah, and the super. No tag available or anything. Smoke. Spend that extra bar. Dead. 
Give me down. Solo Adachi here. With a chonky resonance, though. Pop it. Nice. Blocks look great. Man, this does so much shit. Okay. This is a big hit. Exists for the extensions. We'll see. There's not that much meter to work with here. Yeah. Oh, man. I thought, I thought actually Ragnar got hit for a second. Yeah, the big chip is like the resonance. But that's just how it goes. Oh, no. Ragnar dead. No, Akatsuki gets tagged too. Oh, no. Runs in for the throw. Ah. Uh, how did you think this would go? Not like that. That's not gonna work against me, no matter how many times you try. Go back to your Well Game one. Slides in the way of uh, Yo Game Wizard. That was pretty tragic. Just get this shit done. I'm warning you. Yeah, your assist character in this game, I feel like hitting the assist button in this game is like simultaneously the strongest thing you can do and also the scariest people you can do. You know what I mean? Like in this game, when your assist gets hit, you're like, oh no. It's like a day ruiner. Yeah, we've seen that air dash in low a few times so far. Nice. Time the overhead. He was looking for the tag, I'm not sure. Alright, DP hits. Tag right into a costume, get some of that life back on Ragnar. Seems pretty important. In this version, it seems like it's much easier to heal your life back. And the characters seem a little healthier than they were before. So, counter looked good, but now... In a pretty bad spot here. And you can tag out. God, Akatsuki is just dead. Let's clean this up. The, be the backwards beam? Well, actually, that seemed like it was okay, right? Because the beam pulled you back. It pulled uh, Ragna all the way to the other side of the screen. Oh, she snuck in. She really like snuck over Ragnar's shoulder down there. Yeah, that'll do it. Has meter. I don't even think it it really matters. Two zero. Looking super strong. Man, that was brutal. That mix up was just despicable in the corner. You're so weak I can hardly believe it. BB characters feel, from my messing with them in this game, they, they feel a bit different than they do in BBCF. So if you played them in CF, you probably have an idea about what they're trying to do. But the buttons will feel a little different and like what normals are where or how the specials are is a little different. But I mean, you'll know how to, the general idea of how to play them, I think. Get for the most ready. part. Get ready. Yeah, I, I agree. Watching this tournament, I'm no expert. But man, I watched this. I'm like, Yumi, you know, Yumi Adachi seems like a good thing. Cheer you on. Scared to seem pretty good. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Yeah, some characters are quite different, and some seem very like they're doing the same stuff, but it's a little different. Switch up to Azrael Ragnar. Defense looks good so far, but now, you know, we all know how this goes. Alright, this is big. Confirm off the assist. Corner carry all the way over. Nice. Oh, had the hit actually, I don't think believe. Bro, that beam is so brawling. Can break on the throw. Mm -hmm. Air dash in, gets the combo. No block. But doesn't get too much off of it, yeah. This is a big chance now. Beams out, runs in for the throw. There's the immediate tag out. 
Oh. oh. Yeah, Yumi was still on the screen there too for a second. There's a lot of damage. Can there be a kill? Not quite. Adachi clinging to life. It's gonna be the switch, yeah. Get Yumi back in. Oh, but he died anyway. Oh my god. What is happening? <gasps> that was such a big chance. And that's gonna do it. Bam. All right, the Azrael switch working out. It's time for the main course. You better. Yeah, we've seen people switch to Azrael a couple of times during this tournament so far. It seems like most BB tag players have a bunch of different characters slash teams, which, you know, that's kind of true. I feel like of a lot of versus games where people will usually have some backup characters or ideas. In tag games, you know, normally, oh, there's the assist for the punish. Yep. Can't get away with those tags. The first time I saw that, I was like, you know, that is me. I, damn, that did a lot. Goes through. No confirm or anything. We get reset back to neutral here. And now you gotta guess your sandwich. Between a fan and a gun. Doesn't have another meter for the kill, though. And there's a punish. Oh, man, that's a heartbreaker. No tag in sight. Gonna build another bar here, maybe? Not quite. That'll do it. GG's well played. Moving on into top eight winners. 3-1. Looking good. And that's it up our top eight winners. All said and done. We're going to get that started here for everybody in a second. The losers is also catching up as we speak, I think. One side of our losers bracket is all set. The other side will get wrapped up as we play our winner side top eight here. So... I think first match here should be uh, Yo Fave Scrub versus Monkey. It's time for our top eight here. Thanks everybody for coming through. Thanks to Start.gg for helping us run all five of these tournaments. Thanks to the BB Tag players for coming through and saying howdy and entering. I appreciate it. This bracket looked mega stacked. Thanks everybody for sliding through and playing. Yeah, this tournament, if you don't know, this tournament is, uh, I believe, I think it's NA actually, because we had players from Canada and Mexico in some of the other brackets, right? But she is so high. But yeah, I mean, we're sending someone to CEO, given that it costs a lot of money to, to fly right now, even in the US. Even if you're in the US or Canada or Mexico, it's quite expensive to fly. Do you mean 90 men? No, I'm pretty sure Ragnajin is the husband wife. Yeah, I, I watched a BB4 video. His name was Vaddy Video. Whoa. That's Adachi's DP? He like walks and counters like that? Yeah, they're talking about Juve 9. That's the joke. Yeah. It's a walk forward parry? Yeah, that seems great. That seems quite good. Oh, stuff the beam. God damn, that did a lot of damage. He's dead. Solo Yumi. Yeah, assist. Pressure here, resonance through. You're still stuck for a bit though. Oh, that was sick. Didn't get the confirm off of it though. <laughs> I like that Yo Fave Scrub just walked back like, I, I'm not dealing with it. What's that button where she throws the fan? That one, is that 5B? That button seems like, yeah, that seems like the juice. I remember watching a video on this character. And it was like, just hit this button and you're the greatest gamer to ever do it. Little dead spike action. Get the kill here. Game one. Looking good for Yofave Scrub. CB champion. Can Yofave Scrub win CB, win this tournament, and then get sent on over to CEO? 
Yeah, the worst part, there was another moment earlier where Yumi got the hit on the assist facing out of the corner and then auto-corrected and hit the point character into the corner. That kind of thing... Was that Diaphone's one minute Yumi guide? I think I've seen that. That kind of thing is like... That makes me irate. When I played Dragon Ball a lot, when I played this game and my character auto-corrected, or my, my I get auto-corrected into a kill or something, I get so mad. I'm like, you swung the wrong way, you go that way. But to be fair, <clears throat> I played a Dachi and sometimes my I would just go the right way and I was like, I guess I just won the game. It's locked. Some, I gotta say, some pretty uh, impressive defense here. Oh. That's a punish. And you can't... Yeah, there's no break here. I think he's just dead. He's like mega dead. He's, I don't even think it's close. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Or maybe it was. I don't know. But Ragnar's mega dead. Not a very chunky resonance, too. Oh, it's supposed to be a switchback. That makes sense. Yeah, I believe you. Man, this looks cool. Oh, that's messed up. That was guaranteed, right? She was airborne there when she was air blocking the beam, so the DP couldn't be blocked. Yeah, if your DP gets blocked, you cannot burst the combo you get hit by. You can see in the little bottom blue meters get locked out. Nah, that'll do it. All this meter to spend. Dead. 1-1. One, one. Man, I, you gotta feel like all of that is off the error of that switch earlier where Ragnar just died. Get ready! Man, the thing about uh, Arcana Heart is it has Super Dash in it. Any game that has Super Dash, it's the original Super Dash. Any game that has Super Dash will make people irate. That's just how it goes, I think. Uh oh, was that both? Oh, it was, but Yumi was like way too low. Nice. I like that defensive up back. Calls the assist for coverage here. And then the pickup, Yumi with the damage. Yeah, I can't break that, so you just gotta eat a solid little 40%. Now even more. Mm hmm. Super unburstable damage. And there's the tag. Man, Ragnar lost so much life. Alright, this is a big chance. And there's no tag for a little bit here. It's available now, though. That was good. I like calling the assist air dashing back. Oh, he, he was so dead. Man, Adachi with just a pixel. Air dash is in. Good little check there. Uh oh. This is big. And there's the immediate tag and the punish. Oh, man. Meter to dump on the kill here, too. That's brutal. This is a huge lead here. Yep, tag back in. Get the kill. Ragna dead. Ruby bleeding. Although, to be fair, Dachi doesn't have much life either. Hasn't activated resonance yet. Oh, that's a whiff on the throw. DP is out and it hits. That's big. If DP got blocked there, could have been a different story, but we're looking at a 2 1 here. Monkey in the lead. Yeah, health buffs across the cast, I think, makes sense given how uh, volatile this game could be before, right?
<laughs> Nerfing the damage and buffing the health are the same thing? Not quite. Well, it's it's like, you know, the outcome is similar. But it's funny because uh, the, the idea about that makes a lot of sense to me. I think the damage in this game is still very high relative to a lot of games. But I think with the versus game, that's okay. You're like fine with it, right? Because I think you like big damage games when you have the right hit or opportunity. Especially in versus games, I think if it takes eight hits to kill every character, it doesn't always feel as good. It, it can tend to drag a bit, right? Oh my god, why would I even talk about this? Look what I did. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. I shouldn't have even said anything. My bad. Ruby's almost dead. Ragna bleeding. Oh man, this is brutal. Oh, and that that just went over him? This looks so bad. Beam chipping out, just backs up and waits. I love that defense for Monkey right there, just the chill. Little 5B action, dead. Ruby coming in solo. This looks bad. Dead. Dead before I could even ask if the song was DMCA. Moving on. Monkey with the 3 1 over Yo Fave Scrub. Yeah, anyway, the damage. <laughs> you don't want the game to be like so low damage that it takes forever, you know what I mean? I, I think it's important that you have high damage in versus games. I get it. I don't mind having high damage. I like it. These are the consequences of your action, you know? So, Yo Fave Scrub and Losers, let's see if Yo Game Wizard can uh, hold on for the Yo Gamers. As usual, to be honest, I feel like most of our tournaments run very smooth. I hope everybody who, um, what's it called? I hope everybody who played in the tournament had a good time. I hope everybody watching is having a good time. Thanks for stopping by, chat. That was 3-1, yeah. Hopefully everybody's having a good one. Faded. And no burst. We're taking some damage. And we're getting... Oh, no. We're getting our tag punished. I think... Oh, my God. This is doing so much. What the hell? Clean 7K. I mean, it was either let Yumi die or let Adachi take 7,000, right? That was the choice you have to make. That was the nature of the beast, man. This is a brutal start. Especially against a team like this where you gotta catch them, you know. Yep, DP is guaranteed there. That sucks. Look at the damage off this. If you accidentally block the air beam, it's gotta feel so bad. Oh my god. Super right away, prevents the burst, a lot of damage. We gotta see a tag here, yeah. Got you dead. He is hella dead. This looks great. Yumi's dead. Bang, bang, boom. Game one goes to cake. An autonomic man. But whose mind has been placed within you, I wonder? Have to say, cake has looked quite impressive so far today. All right, no switch ups or anything. We're back into it. Yeah, exclamation point bracket will get you the bracket. You can also go to start.gg or smash.gg if it's still saved in your browser history. They they both redirect. Start.gg slash cyf, and you can go to past tournaments and see all the tournaments so far if you're interested in any of that. Also, if you're wondering how we got these tournaments, all of them were voted on. We just did a vote. And, um,. Each of the games got voted in, so BB Tag got voted in amongst the list of games that were left. It was the most voted for. Wow, that laser hit. No way you combo off this, right? Oh, I thought Adachi was about to die on that. Super. Oh, that was messed up. Blocks the tag. This is very similar to the start we saw in the last game, right? Man. 
You hate to see it. Almost, I was just gonna say, almost has the burst back. It could, it could come back before the kill, but at this point, yeah. If you, you burst, you die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is looking brutal. Cake is, cake is gaming. This, I mean, this is a long road. I suppose I've technically seen longer roads, but yeah, that'll do it. Flash kick for the kill, 2-0 to Cake. Looking great. There's a BB Tag US versus Japan 10v10 coming up. That sounds, that sounds fit. You know, you mentioned crowdfunding. Now that offline tournaments are starting to be more popular, the uni players were all telling me that they were gonna crowdfund players out. So they had crowdfunded some players to CB and they were talking about crowdfunding players to like see Otaku or crowdfunding players to Climax. So they were like, you know, now that events are happening again, like we, we might just crowdfund together to get people out from like Japan or South America or Europe to come out to some of these events, which is really cool. Let's see you try. Maybe uh, maybe that's something BB Tag players can do or something too for uh, CEO Taku for a big event coming up. Yeah, this game has rollback. Those asking. Boy, this start looks brutal too. You know, we've seen this team a lot. A lot of people have been talking about how good Adachi Yumi is, and it seems really strong. But I, this matchup, I don't know if it's just Cake being a mega gamer, but this seems rough. I feel like this team really has not handled the zoning very well in this so far. It seems hard to get going. Even with that Adachi beam, that seems great. Yeah, this seems rough. Yo Game Wizard has not been able to play much. Cake might just be a gamer though. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Yep, flies all the way over the beam. Up back. Got the late push block there. Yeah, you saw. It. Oh no, unblockable on the beam. There's the tag though. Yeah, it seems like the mobility in the air movement really helps. That's bad. So. You should die here, yo. Oh, I had to spend the extra meter. That's a big win for Cake, actually. Resonance available, double jump, fly. Damn, the chase down. The chase down. Help, activate resonance, help me. Oh, dead. All right, we got 2-1 here. Yo game wizard clinging. you think that hope can save you <laughs> yeah that was uh that was much better honestly though that game it, you know cake was kind of in control for a lot of it too they kind of had uh, most of the screen real estate and a big lead it's just you get caught a couple of times you know that's what it takes that's what your objective is right could be time it is uh two one you know how these games go one unfortunate shenanigan, and then all of a sudden, it's 2-2. Two, two. Or Yo Game Wizard could just play great. Both could happen. But yeah, it seems to me, as an un the untrained eye, although that Adachi beam seems very useful, it seems like they cannot, uh, Yumi Adachi cannot get started in the same way, because, you know, you just have so much real estate to work with these uh, two, two characters, Rachel and um, the pizza. Hard to get going. Uh, both. That's a lot of damage. 4k each. It seems harder in neutral to, to control the pace as much. Especially with them able to hold the top of the screen. That, that's like always, I feel like, a common thing if a zoner is able to do that. If a, if a zoner can go above in the air and attack downwards, and you don't have good tools to attack diagonally, you know. Uh, 5c. This is uh, a no-go zone. Tag's not available. Not quite the kill, but yep. You didn't see that overhead? Someone in the chat's like, I blocked it. All right, DP out. Resonance. We got quite some time here. What an ant here. Oh, man. 
Yeah, this hurts. All that resonance timer gone. Yeah. Gonna build up two bars, maybe? No, not quite. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna have to guess right maybe eight times there. It's gonna be some lows, it's gonna be nine overheads. Cake moving on, looking great there. Wow, Caterade had a close one against Don Cisco there. 3 2 to qualify for uh, top eight. Man, Duck versus Mystery Racer was 3 2 also. Bojack makes it in over Kraken Atkins. Damn, that sounds, uh, that sounds like a beast match. Thanks for entering, by the way. If you uh, played in my tournament, or if you're watching, or if you're uh, restreaming, or if you're just a BB Tag player who stopped by, I appreciate you doing that. It was very nice of you. Let me get these names updated. Get it should ready. be Caterade versus True Care, right? Yeah, it looks good. Caterade 24 versus True Care. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, teaching all of us about BB Tag. I'm no expert. And uh, I don't think anybody in the chat who hasn't no, played is either. Are. We're just here to see some good uh, BB tag action. This game's tight. Will we. Don't let them make fun of you. This game's cool. I'm not a hater. I thought the game was very fun. We saw Neo a bit earlier. This character seems cool. I watched her do like nine rising attacks. Bam, the throw gets baited. And that does too. Good start from True Care. Oh, you tried to hit the punish, huh? Oh, I put a T instead of a D. I'm sorry. I'll get that pick. Yeah, this is loser bracket. I'll get that adjusted. Since we are just in top eight winners. I was saying Caterade though, I think. Oh, that super's gonna smoke him. Good lord. <laughs> uh, you know. Poor Susan. Susan Susan was out there swinging. Where'd he go? You'll see him next game. Yeah, Neo's solo here, and Neo's also dead. Well played. Man, Caterade looking good. As, as soon as I fix the name, suddenly Caterade looking like a whole new gamer. I'm not certain, but Neo looks really scary on offense with all the instant overheads with the assist to, to set up, right? But I'm not sure how good that is without somebody to back you up. Maybe it's not quite as strong. But yeah, if I type any anybody's name wrong, I'll just let me know and I'll fix it. It's mostly, I'm gonna be honest, it's mostly because everybody joins the lobby so fast. There's like no time. The 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 uh, meta I have to say for every game so far is that all the players join the lobby and start so fast. People have played so many online tournaments now because we've been stuck playing online for two years that like, unlike before, everybody is in the lobby in the match in like five seconds. When I used to commentate online tournaments, people took 10 minutes to join the lobby. I'm not kidding. Every time I used to commentate an online tournament, I'm like, this sucks. Everybody takes so long to get in here. Now everybody's an expert. I used to commentate those online wins and I fights, and I was like, this sucks. And then that was four hits before she even hit the ground. Now everybody is way better about joining online tournaments. Like, people are in there so fast. Nice. I love that late push block on the air projectile. Back to the corner. Has meter here. I don't know if he's spent it. Wow. Super punishes the tag. Bam. Not enough to kill. There's the DP on wake up. True care with a massive lead. Ball could turn around though. Just like that. Uh oh. Back dash, fireball. Not trying to approach during the present. This is big. All right. Resonance is going to wind down here. 
Nice. That's cheap. That was cheap. A little fuzzy. Super after for the kill. That's cheap. Caterade up 2-0. Damn, that was messed up. You know what's what's actually the funniest part? Is watching the fuzzy hit and then there's like the tag, you know? So like both characters come in and it's like your teammate, like Naoto came in like, oh, you messed up now. It's over. And like Susan is just stuck in hit stun for like 10 seconds while both characters just flex on you. That's the funniest part. You have so long to confirm that hit. It's like instant overhead, call the other character, like, oh snap, it's done. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. And That's neither will we. <laughs> you are a blight, a gone illusionist. Can't escape from crossing fate. Yeah, this game has no rounds, it just has the game. A lot of, most versus games are like this. That is cheap. <laughs> uh, simply block the overhead and low at the same time. And there's no tag here. Is she just dead? I think so, right? Super, super? Good lord. Oh, nice. That push block timing saved the day. Activates resonance. Man, that is messed up. When you're stuck in a sandwich like that, it's brutal. When people are good at this game, you truly, you do not block it. You're just, you get it. That's just the end. Punish. That'll do it. GG. Gatorade moving on the losers. Thanks to True Care for sliding through and playing in the tournament. I think you're in like the very first match of the day. Yeah, pretty fast match. That's how BB Tag goes sometimes. Thanks for gaming. Well played there from Caterade. We'll get our next match. It's going to be Duck and Bojack. This is top eight loser side of the bracket. Yeah, it should be both of the losers quarters matches. And then it should be winners finals, loser semis, losers finals grand final. Go off heart. Man, this song is kind of good, yeah. I haven't heard this song in a long time. Ooh, yeah, there's attack. Oh, no! Bill gets picked up by the beam. Step on the beach, do, 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 do. AK on that, dead. No tag action. Why is he shaking the screen like that? He's got big feet. He should be in Street Fighter 6. That's a pun. Everybody has no everybody has no shoes in that game. I'm not sure why. Uh -oh. Yeah, I got the hit even before the tag happened. God damn, this does so much. Oh my god. I was gonna say, I don't even know if you want to spend more meter though, right? Because uh, Dachi seems like the, the assist to use here and Azrael has more life. That did a ton of damage. He like got the loop through each hit of the assist, right? So like the beam in, they got the hit, and then the beam, and then hit. Dash through, little sandwich action. Jumps back, nice, avoids it. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, she winded up the punch too. Not dead. Super. DP is right through. Adachi has resonance here though. DP out. We're looking good. Not very much life for either. A little jab action, push block there from Bojack. Oh, all the way in. Not like this. Not like this. Duck with the kill. Ugh. Man. Homing attack. 
Where'd she learn that? Did she learn that from Goku? Get ready. Goku must have taught her that, right? A little super dash action. <laughs> oh man. If you talk the can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! It's funny because, you know, there's a lot of people who have no idea what our trans is. Or have never seen the game. Oh my god, look at the assist. Held me. Held me. Alright. So yeah, she took so much damage. Look at Labras' health bar. Oh, boy. Super Super here for the kill. Boom. Alright, Doug did it last time. Solo heart. I need backup. Whoa. Resin. CP's out. Fun. Into the corner. Good awareness there from Bojack. Jumps back. The beam. I don't even know how she got hit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what happened. But I just know that she's, she's dead. All right, that's game two. What's wrong? That'll do it. I'm not even sure how she, I didn't even see what happened. I just saw a beam on her and then the hit, the combo counter started going up. And stay out of my sight. That's what happened. The eighth faith should be eight H and K. If they added H and K characters, this would be like, this game would be too powerful. Get so ready. Yeah, uh, if you've never played our Arcana Heart, it does have a mechanic called home, homing attacks or homing. There are homing attacks, right? And uh, it's for everybody who hated Super Dash and Dragon Ball. You know, same thing. It's not. It's not like Super Dash is brand new. Although I feel like Super Dash is a little bit more cursed more often than the Arcana Heart version. To be honest with you, I don't know. There's something about the version in Dragon Ball that's just. It has the, the weirdest interaction sometimes. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Nice. I think it's, you know, Duck's defense in those situations has been pretty consistent. Up back, escape the sandwich, make it happen. Oh, DP baited, that sucks. Oh my, where was she? Bro, she's not even on the screen. She just appeared. Bro, where is she? Help. All right, Lavers gets smoked. Oh, I thought that was going to be both for a second. Is that a, a command grab in this game? It is, right? Oh, he gets the combo after? <laughs> it did 9,000 damage. 9k off that? That seems like a lot. I'm not, I'm no expert. He's dead though. Yeah, he's dead. That did so much damage. 2-1, Duck's in the lead here. It's not a command grab, is it just regular grab? His throw starter and resonance does 9,000. Yeah, that seems nice to have. Adachi does... It is, uh... It is not that unusual for him to be a high damage character, though, right? Alright, new character switch. Bojack's sticking it out. I think Bojack is one of the people restreaming the tournament, too, so... Looking for another perspective. There's the tag. Gets clipped low. Yeah. 
Damage is looking good too. Just a little sandwich action. Get put low. Immediate tag punish. The thing is, is like even if you you know your tag is gonna get punished, you kind of have to do it, right? Because like if you don't tag, Adachi dies, and if you do tag, I mean Azrael gets smoked, but at least Adachi's not dead. Well. <laughs> she winded it up for 10 seconds. <laughs> I just said it and Adachi dies. Oh man, that was sick. Alrighty, Duck's moving on. Thanks for gaming there, Bojack. Well played. Thanks for coming through. So, Bojack and uh, True Care go home with seven. Appreciate you playing in the bracket. This match uh, is uh, loser side of the bracket. It's Yo Fave Scrub versus uh, Caterade. Let me get that spelled with a D. And uh, top four of the bracket gets paid out, in case you all didn't know. Winner of the bracket obviously gets the juicy uh, trip on over to CEO, which is nice. Star Dodge GG will fly you out there. They give you flight and hotel and red you into the tournament. You can go play whatever you want over that CEO. Feels pretty good, right? But uh, top four does get payout. So this is for top four qualifiers. Top eight losers action. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. Yeah, they'll hook you up. Star GG sends you on over there. Neither will we. They give you uh... The other nice thing too, and I know for those of you who are gamers like me, this is very exciting news. I think the names are swapped, right? I'll get that fixed in a second here. Um, the nice thing is that they'll also give you free stuff. Name swap. You can go out there, they'll hook you up with some shirts, hoodies, t-shirts, wristbands, all that free stuff out there. Star GG will have a booth at CEO. They had one at TB as well. So, pretty nice. Perry works out. <laughs> Punch Ragna from behind. Mm -hmm. Stagger in the throw, good break. Yeah, this looks good. Damage on this is humongous too. Half life on that. There's the break. Break again. Defense holding up there. Your face scrub has not been scratched until that moment. Stands here. Up back push block gets out. Jumps away. Avoid Nalto. There's the assist. Uh oh. I like that parry though from Caterade. Nice. Oh my god. I am impressed. That Caterade saw that, and I'm not surprised Yo Faith Scrub got hit. I would have got hit too. Damn, that's not okay. You just gotta guess. Oh! The, the, the running throw. The classic. DP is out, and it hits. This is big. Calls it out. Double jump. Gets the punish. A little dead spike. This is great here. Damage on this is huge. You have meter, setup, air dash, double overhead. Time. It's time for the mix. Blocks correctly and challenges right. Ruby should be dead. No meter kill. Damn. Oh, he gets hit. Uh oh, yeah. Back dash gets hit. No way he dies from this though, right? Chilling. Push block resonance. This is a long road though. Even with all those resources to work with. Oh, had the low but didn't believe. Ah. Yeah. The hit. The tag. There's gonna be at least one super at the end of this available, but doesn't spend it. Probably didn't think it would kill. Yeah, this looks really hard. This looks like a rough road. All right, that'll do it. Game one goes to Caterade after a really good start, honestly. Yo, Fave Scrub looked great. Ones who I never want to see again. Akatsuki, Nauta, win. All these crazy numbers all over the place. This world is messed up. All right, game one. Well played. It was a long. Yeah, that was a long match for this game, actually. It was a good match, though. 
ready. Get ready. Is anybody running the tank? No, I don't think so. Unfortunately. The tank seems cool though. Like, who do people even pair the tank with? Like, what does he even need? I don't honestly know. Whoever these guys are, they won't be easy. And neither will we. To that later. Get away. Tank unblockable loops and zones. So he needs someone to help him get there. Oh, looks like a little job. Nice. Tag, block, and punish. Damn, Ragnar just called him a dumbass. Gotta guess right here. Good break, man. The defense there was great for uh, Caterade. You know, I feel like Yofei the Scrub, just like the last game, has such a big lead. But then things kind of all turn around, you know? Oh, baited. That's big. You cannot burst this hit. And there's five meters. Gotta dump some of that bar, I gotta imagine. No. Maybe didn't think it was gonna kill. Super. Very smart. Super, super for the kill. Nice. Yeah, throw right into super so that you don't you can't burst, right? And then get the kill here. This too is juicy damage. The tag's over though. Not quite the kill. Resonance available. Alright, there it is. Still has pressure though. Will stagger pressure. Oh, you are a sick. Absolute sicko. Last time it was throw right there. This time it's like, alright. Go for your little throw tag. Go for a throw tag. And she's she's still going. She's got a lot to say about that. Would you say GG's after that? I would not. Say. I would say thanks for the game. Just G, yeah, games. Those are games. Whoever these guys are, my lawyer will be in contact with you. And neither will we. She's a weapon otaku? Ah, I see. She just likes... To be fair, that's like... You know, that's not a bad trait if you fight with weapons. That is not okay. Yeah, there's the tag. They really just let that be unblockable? Like, there's like no... There's no unblockable protection? Or is it a true unblockable? Is it like overhead low, you can block it if you time it right? Or does this game not have any protection for it? No protection. Damn. A lot of games do not allow that. It's pretty funny that this game does. <laughs> Yeah, a little push block. Doesn't want to deal with that mix of pickup looks great. Side swap. Back to the corner here. Well, back dash calls the assist right into super. So no burst on the table. Super, super here. Bang. Perfectly done. Very smart from Caterade. Gets the hit. I like the patience, obviously respecting a resonance activation and like just not over committing. Yep, there's the combo. Oh, a little drop of Reno. Resonance gets activated. Sandwich time. Gotta guess. Okay. Push block super activates. Doesn't get hit by a yield and unblockable. Anti air looks great. No combo. Uh oh. He's dead here. There's no burst. No burst. Can't get out. Door stuck. Oh, the confirm. It didn't hurt too bad though. Resonance. Oh, 
All right, this is big. Extra big. Still healing, though. He lived for a long time. Super's available. I don't know if it kills. EX Super. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> is what I would say. Scrub goes up 2-1. The throw at the end. She still got so much to say. Hey, keep it down. She posts that giant object in my chat room. Get ready. ready. All right, game four here. Scrub up to one. After getting sent to losers, trying to get this trip over to CEO. And neither will we. To that later, just get away. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Ruby! Oh, the really defensive round start actually from Scrub there. Oh, it wins. You have to jump back, waited it out. There it has back. Antier looks good actually, but I didn't get to confirm all of it. Oh, big block. He'll take that damage, and you're all the way to the corner here. And on burst. We got a nice clean AK on this. There's the tag. Oh, Akatsuki got hit for a second, actually, too. There's the throw. Damn, how could you throw there? I cannot believe you found a spot where he wasn't stuck in block. Unless you could tag. Because that looks a little blue. Oh, my. Okay, Ragna tech that out. Nice. Man, that's rough. Although, there's gonna be a punish. Akatsuki died. But you're eating 7,000. You're eating 8,000? 9,000? 11,000 damage. Into a throw. So you're dead. <laughs> I think you're still okay with this, right? Because you have resonance here. Oh, oh, there's meter here. Is she gonna die? Oh my god, not like this. 13k and then... <gasps> oh no! Oh man, you hate to see it. Ah! Nothing, no whiff on it, we're chilling. Meter available. Anti-air blocks. Looking for another air-to-air. -air. Push block. Blocks it. EXI. Please help. Help me. Block. Push block. No meter. Gets the hit airborne though. Doesn't kill. Oh, the falling overhead. Oh, man. Who blocks that? All right, so that's one side of our losers bracket. Scrubs going on in the top four. Other side is Yo Game Wizard versus Duck. That'll be our next match. Look at that, they're already in the lobby. Duck's already ready. And Yo Game Wizard, as soon as Yo Game Wizard hits ready, we're already, look at this, we're already in the next match. You truly love to see it. Cheer you on? Yeah, sure. Can't escape from Yeah, it's Yo Game Fate. Wizard and Duck. Oh my god, she is so fast. I like how late that push block was. 
Mm-hmm. No tag here. No burst. It's gonna hurt. Dump some of that bar. You know, there's a tag. Oh, she just slipped on by. Oh my god, that's not okay. You guys just live in a reality where she can just steal the corner like that? And every day you wake up thinking, yeah, that's all right. Oh, she's dead. Meet her on the table. That's, I'm going to mark it down. That's game one. Dude. Heart is living her best life every round. That seems absurd. <laughs> First in this game is like, it's weird. It's, you have to use it, but it's not great. When you play against people who are excellent at the game, like obviously you see it get punished a lot in this top eight. Game Wizard has asked for a stage swap to a different stage. Says, yo, this stage, like basically, yeah, I agree. If there's a stage that is better for tournament setting, then that, that would be, uh, that's fine with me. It's pretty funny. I, there seems to be an issue with the random select stage. Did they get the same stage again? School gate. Cheer okay. you on? Yeah, sure. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Yeah, I think that that is. Uh, I think that's like a really fair option to want in fighting games so that when you turn on random stage you can exclude stages from the random so like nice calls the assist to punish the burst this is looking bad there's no burst on the table here either for a little bit maybe super yeah dead oh that hurts it's a bad start. You get put in the corner here, you need a resonance probably on wake up, right? No, there's the resonance. It's gonna be pressure here anyway, even though you have resonance. Oh man. Well if this stage is bad, then the nice thing is we don't have to stare at it very long. Wanna pee? You were so close. Forgive me. As a shinobi and as an agent of justice, I cannot afford to be. Yeah, I gotta say, being able to to steal the corner in Get a fighting game ready. is a really nice thing to have. I gotta say, it's real good. I mean, you saw hard do it with the uh, homing dash in the other game or in the other uh, the first game, right? This stage is tight, by the way. Can we just get this shit done? Can't escape from crossing fate. I'm the stage of the school. Quick block. Uh oh. Oh, that's. DP uh, is blocked. Clean little AK on that. Mix up lamb. First is available. We see it, but damn. Just jumps right into the clean part of that assist. You know, someone mentioned this in the chat. I feel like Labras has mostly been the star as an assist so far. Really has not, yeah. I mean, Hart has done all of the work or it's been a bad time. Man, Yumi is in bad shape too. That is not okay. <laughs> Watching her fly all the way in is so funny. What a character. That's tough. Yeah, that's some horror movie stuff. Wow, that went through the beam? Looking real dead. That's 2-1. Yeah, I think Labras assist looks great. I mean, it's impressive. Doug's getting the job done Get regardless. Ready.
cheering for the midwest not allowed in the stream can't escape from crossing fate what up flower man what up everybody in chat hope everybody's chilling that hits so high that is unbelievable i cannot believe that it, it's like that that seems really nice to have i gotta say it's like that assist where she swings the axe straight up that seems incredibly good and that was so far Tag looks good, but Adachi's in a bad spot. He's getting some life back here, but the mix on the low. Ay, ay, ay. And the problem is if you burst and it's blocked, Adachi's dead, right? So, like, yep. Okay, he makes it out. That assist. You know. Help me. Where is she? Okay, there she is. Faded. GG's big fan. Duck takes a 3-1. Well played. Duck's moving on. Top four of the bracket. Goes up against Yofave Scrub next. And that sets up our winner's final. So we're going to jump back up to uh, winner's final, which is going to be Monkey versus Cake. This tournament is going It's going by fast. This one is quick. If you're watching the tournament, hopefully you've been having a good time. If you're interested in, in the game at all, I would recommend the console version. I think it's like 20 bucks right now, right? Or something for the game. You could also probably wait and get it on sale. The console version uh, runs better and the PC version has more issues. So people play on console, I think for that reason. You know how it goes. Alrighty, winner's finals of the tournament. Name swap. Thanks to everybody for swinging by and all the tag players for saying howdy. This is a beast theme. It's also on Switch, yes. Hold your tongue, little girl. Damn, that's hot. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Why we gotta be like that? Cake, who we watched so far. Absolutely zone the hell out of everybody and then do quadruple overhead and hit. Yeah, Rachel, you know, she seems pretty good in this game, I gotta say. I feel like she's not great in CF, actually, right? Like, she was better in the earlier versions than I think she is in CF. But she seems pretty effective in this game. Is she really good in CF? I thought she wasn't as good in CF. Is she top tier in CF? What? I thought everybody thought she was bad. Oh, nobody plays her? Oh. Maybe I'm behind. Was it the version before? Oh my god, this game has looked brutal. Ouch. You know, I gotta say, Cake seems pretty good at this game. I've uh, I've been pretty impressed. Every single game. Get nobody ready. nobody gets near Cake at all. Yeah, it's just Cake out here flying at the top of the screen, calling the assist, getting the pick, killing your character. Alright, we'll see game two here. Yeah, this zoning looks, uh, looks pretty effective. Defense looks great, push block there. Nice. And he completely avoided all of that. Didn't have to deal with any pressure. Mm -hmm. Susan's in trouble here. Oh my god, even with the push block, still had time to run across the entire screen. And just land nine overhead. Yeah, this looks miserable. This looks so bad. Oh, the defense held up for a bit, based the tag. 
It's like, what are you gonna do? You tag out so Susan lives, but now look at Ruby's life. Instant overhead. What are you gonna do, tag again? Susan dies if you tag, and Ruby dies if you don't. So just let Ruby die, or very close to it. Yeah, instant overhead kills. And that'll do it. GG, shake my hand. 2-0. I've never seen the top of that, that bridge over there. Top of the skyscraper in the background until then. 2-0. Cake looking fantastic. This game is so brutal. Yeah, you know... That's what you're here for, though, right? All that matters is societal management and preservation. Would this game be as fun if you didn't die horrible death every game? I don't think so. That's part of the appeal. Dachi Ruby, we see a little switch here. No more Susan. Like, that's part of the fun of a game like this, right? Is that it's an absolute, yeah, it's a sicko fest. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Take it that's away. honestly, that's how versus games are. The point of them. Oh no. Okay, it could have been worse. The point of them is that you get to do despicable fun things, both, you know, on both sides. So, oh yeah, DP unblockable. So you get to do it to your opponent, and your opponent does it to you. But that means your options are all really fun. No way. Did I just see that beam hit there? No way that just happened. Oh my god. I, I, okay. I was just making sure it wasn't just me. DP, yeah, there's a tag. For those, for those unaware, that beam right there is great for that instance because DPs are air unblockable, so if you're in the air, you get hit. So when you get stuck in a Dachi's 800 hit beam and they just DP you, you can't, you can't get out. Guaranteed damage. Pretty good. Seems like a nice thing to have. Nice. That was great. This looks a lot better for Monkey here. Clean little snipe, and that'll do it. 2-1. Looking much better. Yeah, it seems like having the beam for control seems a lot better than dying with Susan. You know what I mean? That character, you know. That character is pretty rough. Justice will be paid. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Do what you got. Yeah, this is a big chance here. Although, you know, I feel like catching catching Rachel seems like the hard part of this. Even Batista, you know, she's good. She's good. She's great. Oh, this is big. You gotta. We gotta get a lot of damage here. That was about 4k each. All right, bat back in. Uh oh. Dude, Adachi is toxic. He's got a lot of nasty things to say to people. His damage is really adding up. Little snipes here and there. Batista is not in great shape. Jumps in. That's great. It looks good here. There's no burst. Yeah, no burst. Door stuck. She's dead. Rachel coming in again. Has a juicy resonance here, though. Yeah, pops it in the combo. I don't know how much this is gonna be, though. Okay. A little reset action. Help me, I can't, I cannot see. I am unable to see. Help me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 7k on this. Resonance activated. Oh, help me. I need backup. Dead. 
Well, well, well. Well played. Cake is moving on to our winner's final. 3-1. Very impressive performance. Stealing the corner there, getting the mix up. Help. Help me. Help me. How it goes. That was our winner's finals. We're going to set up here. Loser Semis is up next. So this should be Duck and Yo Fave Scrub, right? And uh, Yo Fave Scrub lost the cake, right? In uh, winner's side? No, Monkey. Yeah, Yo Fave Scrub lost the Monkey. Shame we didn't get to see any Yang players. My VOD. Think about my VOD. Don't you want this tournament to make it to YouTube? Little revenge match here. Bro, that did a lot of damage. Man, the evasiveness from hard seems really, really pesky. I have to say. Like, the angles she takes on the screen and then attacks from seems like it's very particular. You know what I mean? Oh, that's messed up. Burst is on the table, but that's what the super's there for. Alright, low. Land. We're looking good here. Gets Labras back in since hard's bleeding. Yeah, that'll do. We'll take that. We'll see how much corner carry there is on this. Looks pretty good. Oh, the air dash. And the burst works. Dude, that looks... Oh, no. Okay. It could have been worse, though. I suppose, right? He didn't die. Labra's back in. Oh, my. What? Did that just turn around? The autocorrect? That always makes me so mad. We'll see here. There's some bar. Yeah, almost. Not quite. Okay. Wow, double quick block. Oh no, they both got tagged. Ragna, help! Get some damage on hard, but for what? You know? That is the classic. You try to punish an assist, you try to get some extra little damage, the point character cleans it up. It's mandatory if you have a scythe, you gotta let it rip. Are you guys excited for that Beyblade tournament tomorrow? Get ready. Get ready. There is a Beyblade tournament happening tomorrow. There's a big, a big Twitch streamer Beyblade tournament. Yeah. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight. Oh my god. That assist seems juicy. Every single time we're in the corner. There's no burst, so the damage looks pretty good. Nice little 7k. Empty low. That is messed up. You can't see it. The Ruby assist just takes up the whole screen and you're dead. Great start. Uh oh. I think we're we're maybe a little early resonance. Okay. Get sandwiched. Empty low again. Same thing we saw last time. <laughs> Look at her just scooping the air. Trying to get that anti air. Solo heart here. This looks like it could be a long road. And there's the hit. Into the corner. Has meter to spend. Even if it doesn't kill, like, yeah, I mean, it just means that you need, uh, you need even more. On even less. Nice. Looks good. Game of peace. I like spending the bar there just to get the damage. 
Alrighty, game three. Ooh, no. This isn't so bad though, right? I feel like there's worse teams for this to happen with. Okay. DP connects, not all the way though. Need to brush up on the Ruby lore. Probably the last thing I'll catch up on the lore for, I'll be honest. Oh, runs in, finds a low. Both got hit, right? Although it seems like she fell out there at the end. The throw with the assist, that's cheap. That's cheap, that's cheap. Labyrinth in big trouble. Four meters here. This looks like a BB tag game. But I'm gonna be honest, that looks like super super for the kill. 2 1. Yeah, it's like a show, right? Yeah, it's a show. Games like this that are this fast, look, you're already into the next game. You may have died like a warrior's death 10 seconds ago, but now you get to, fight, you get to play again, you know? You're fighting again. It's okay. Yeah, a lot of the characters' animations are not like I think Batista's tag animation is like one of her dashing buttons. For instance, she has like a ground tag that's like just a dashing normal from Uni. So there's a lot of things like that in this game. Oh. It's only Ragna though. Yeah. First there for Doug. Hard took a lot. I feel like Labras on point. Maybe I we just haven't seen it that much so far, but it doesn't seem nearly as effective as when this team is split. Like the uh, the Labras assist seems like the, the juice on this team. There's a tag. Oh my god, that punch did three thousand damage. Oh my god, she she just got smoked. Oh no. Block looks good and the challenge, although it goes for the reset. Mm -hmm. Some life back on Ruby here. Runs in for the throw. The super, super. Dead. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Pops the resonance. Oh, gets anti air. The pickup. Two apiece. We're going to a final game. That was wild. Schoolgirls are secretly gorillas in disguise. There's no secret. Wow, almost got the trade confirmed. Man, this hurts so much. The pressure here seems great too. I love the throw. We've seen a lot of like call the Ruby assist, go empty low or overhead. Yeah, throw right into the super. This looks real convincing. Solo heart. This looks rough. A rough position to be in. Although it could always happen, right? Even the resonance is only level one. Runs in. Tries to find a little low action. Mix of land. Has a super for the kill here. I think that's a little double jeopardy action. Duck double eliminated by Yo Fave Scrub, who's moving on into our losers finals. That was a close set. That last couple of games, though, went pretty rough. So we got um, a run back as well, actually. Monkey versus Yo Fave Scrub. This was our winners, one of our winner semis matches. Now our losers finals as well. I'm chilling. This is our last tournament. It's been easy peasy. As usual, uh, the TO team here is, they're great. Big fan. Players are also super prepped. Thanks to you for being ready to go. That poster, the thing in the background, it's a flag. It's actually the rollback in flag. Do that later. Just get away. Let's get this ball rolling. 
Mm-hmm. All right, lose this final to the tournament. At least Ruby made it out. I thought it was going to be both. Oh my god, this is doing a lot. <laughs> is he dead? Oh, well, maybe he was looking for birds there. I he lost a lot. He's dead. Okay. That was rough. Oh no. All right, we got ourselves a match. This is a lot of damage. And pops the resonance, although has to block after the tech. It's only a level two resonance, but that damage is big. If like Ruby kills, uh -oh. if Ruby kills here on Adachi, or oh man, that's rough. Yeah, the Adachi is just gonna save the day. If she can get a kill on Yumi pretty quick or Adachi, there's like a chance I think. But yeah, that'll do it. I think four meters. Easy peasy, monkey. Game one. Pretty rough start though. Yeah, that was, uh, it was pretty rough. It was looking okay, and then, you know, see here for game two. I'm tired of this. It's your case now. Can't escape from crossing no switch. I haven't seen your fave scrub play any other team either, so I'm guessing this is a move. Damn. Cross combo right back, it's time. Gotta guess, in the corner. This laser beam does too much. <laughs> Why is he taking 12,000 damage? Oh my good, good lord, help. Uh oh, sandwich. Tag in, Ruby makes it out unscathed almost though. That's pretty good. It could have been way worse, nice. DP on the neutral jump. Your baby scrub's staying alive, though, I have to say. This is also, again, a disastrous start. That hurts, too. No switch, though. Doesn't switch into, um, Yumi. Air Dash is in. This is a big chance. We, we gotta see some offense going here, but the empty low gets locked by B. Seems like a move. I gotta say, hitting all the way back there. Yo, the, the deep. Oh, Ruby gets smoked. Oh, big punish. He's dead, right? Yumi just has so much life, though. Okay, blocks correctly, I imagine. Oh, Ruby, are you drunk? She went the wrong way. And uh, oh, the Fuzzy. There's no resonance pop yet either. There's the resonance. And the DP. <gasps> no pickup though. And breaks the throw. I think she started the throw actually. Looking low. Push block. Super. Oh my god, the chip. This is so scary. This match is so close. Oh, she gets clipped. Okay, this is a big chance. All the meter. Gotta be the kill, right? This is this is dead. Super, super. There it is. Man, that game was spooky. I have to say, impressive that Yofave Scrub survived that long. That was like one of those things where like, in theory, this should be your, you know, you should have the lead. And, uh... Man, that was spooky. A lot of bad things could have happened. Oh, shut up. Just stop talking. Ugh, stop talking. Whoa! Cheer you on? Yeah. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Come on, You know, I feel like that's the round start we've seen almost every time so far from Scrub. And I like it. It's like jump forward. Block, call Ruby assist. Little tag action. Wow, he built so much bar. Good lord. Oh no. This is, yeah. Not looking like a good start. 
Air Dash is back. There's the DP. There's the punish. He's looking dead. Looking real dead today, I noticed. Yeah, that tag gets the clean punish on the DP. All the way back down. And the pickup. Hadachi is going to live the pop resonance, though. Hasn't activated yet, though. Oh, that's the worst feeling, isn't it? You pop resonance, and your opponent's just like, let me command dash through, call on assist, side swap, kill you. <laughs> uh, 2-1. Everybody starts out to themselves when they first learn fighting games. If they don't play a versus game, they think like, those games are silly. Like, everything looks so messed up. It looks so stupid. Like, you're just doing nasty things to each other. And then as you play more and more, I think you appreciate them in a different manner that's like, man, playing well in these games and consistent is so hard because they're so fast. And like, it's so hard to play well in these games. But once you get good at them, the moments of like pure pure bliss you get of making the right choices, they feel awesome. It's hard to describe. And also surviving on defense or making a sick confirm happen or like whatever you do is like very hard to replicate. Everything. They are definitely like once you get into one, you're like, wait a minute, that person's game sick? Oh, that is messed up. <laughs> wow, she really got pulled all the way back to the other spot. Man. I imagine we gotta see Ruby out, yep. Tag into Ragna, a little bit of a little bit of offense. This hasn't hurt too bad so far, and tag's available for the next hit. A little burst action. Throw break looks great. Assist got smoke. Wow. And super right away to prevent the burst. Oh, super again maybe. Nice. All right, yo, Fave Scrub ready. Damn, he got so much life. Is Ragna a vampire? Don't make a, a, a joke about that movie. Oh, the cross. Super? No, it doesn't go for it. Just goes for the tag because Ragna has so much life. Block. That, that looked like a safe jab on the DP. Yo, Fave Scrub, moving on for a chance here at Grand Finals. Gets the run back, and I don't think we've seen this matchup so far. Yo, Fave Scrub, I think, got sent down uh, against Monkey, right? So Monkey won 3 1 in winner side. Yo, Fave Scrub won wins 3 1 in loser side. Yo, Fave Scrub, loser side of the bracket, up against Cake, who's chilling, sizably chilling in our winner's final or winner side of our grand finals. All right, we'll see if Yo, Fave Scrub can do it. Get ready. Why does Majin hate this game? The BB tag. Alrighty, grand finals here. Oh yeah, it's a good time to get your votes in, by the way. It's a long road, right? I mean... It's gonna be some time. Early confirm looks great. We're into the corner here. The important part about this set, I have to imagine, is catching these characters. It's got to be brutal. Like you know, if you can, if you can make this situation happen, it's so important because the minute Kate gets space, you'll never see them again. Kate's just gone. It's just the end. It's like I'm out of here. I'm gonna use this space to run, fly, get out of the corner. Set up my assist, a little sandwich action, you see what I mean? The mobility allows you to set up things like that. And if you don't get to lock the character down, then it's gonna be a bad time. Nice block. Yeah, no burst was available there. If there's a confirm here, I was just gonna say, you gotta watch for the burst. And also super with the threat right away too. So Vat's back in. The throw break looks great. I think Scrub's doing a good job so far of not getting whittled down too much on the way in. That break again. 
really patient on offense, not over committing too much. Oh, she could have died there. Oh, punish. Oh my God. Never mind. It's Batista. That's she's got to go. I do not want to see that character again. She's dead this game for sure. Oh, no. Yeah, hate to see it happen. That was a dead Batista. Oh, brutal. That hurt. She had to go. Mix up here. Babe makes it out all right. Babe surviving. But, you know, the 18th overhead will do it. And there's the tag. Super. She died anyway. Ragna comes back in. Help. Help. I can't see. Dead. Game one goes to cake. Gotta feel like that's the drop there. <laughs> oh. What the? I did not expect Carmine Hawkman. What? Scrub's got a new team? Carmine Hawkman. All right. I don't think I've seen uh, Hawkman much in this game. In this version, especially. I've seen a bit of Carmine, though. Is this it? Is this our chance? Game one was, honestly, I feel like pretty close for Scrub. I'm kind of surprised to see the switch, but might feel like this is his better long term. That is Buzz Lightyear, Hawkman, yeah. He's, he's not going anywhere right now. He's not to infinity or beyond. He's in the corner getting quadruple overheaded. All right, chance. Oh, big block. Oh, no. Does not have meter. Oh my god. 7K sets up the pinwheel. Push blocks out of there. Yeah, gonna be the tag in a bat, of course. Rachel, not in great shape. Man, that frog. That frog seems beat. George, that's right. George is the frog. Oh, that's big Q. There is no tag. And the throw gets broken. Man, defense so far has looked pretty good. Hawkman pushed back the full screen. The frog's moving and grooving. And just push blocks away. There's no meter here for Scrub either. George, excuse me. Good block. Do you want to spend your bars push blocking too? Is the question here. Got to chase. Get some damage there on VAP, but this is rough. There's no burst. Next hit there will be. Good block. Goes low this time. Super right away to prevent the burst. Double super dead. She's not on the screen anymore. At this point too, it's like. She doesn't even have to, yeah, getting some extra damage. Oh my God, she didn't die. Okay, she's dead now. Oh my God, she's dead too. One apiece. Man, that was a lost cause. I cannot believe it. Uh, how did he, I have no idea how, that seems unlikely. Like, why? She... I don't know. All right. It all worked out. That, like, late falling overhead scenario there seems so good, too. I gotta say. We've seen that hit so many people today. I can't believe that Kate called the assist again, though, actually, in that last game, that she died anyway. Not a block. Gets opened up. Everybody gets hit there. It's not your fault, you know. The sandwich situations like that, what are you gonna do? You're only a human being fighting for your life. Uh oh. Nice. Okay, I was just gonna say, this is kind of scary. Both characters are stuck there in the corner. Flies all the way to the other side of the screen. 
Scrub's got a lot of a lot of space to make up for here. Uh-oh, flies back in, cornered. Uh-oh, there's the tag. That could have been really bad. I'm surprised actually Cake flew all the way back in. All right, runs up, finds the low. There's the tick throw, gets broken. Nice. Jump over, call the assist. Flash kick, gets the knockdown. There's so much meter for Scrub here. Ooh, that was a good bait. Super, super. Looks good. That's the kill. Tag back into Carmine. Yeah, and she is chilling up there. Oh, that's a fun one. Runs in. Damage on this looks good. And we get a little knockdown set up here. Resonance available. Yeah, switch back into Hawkman. I think you're chilling here though, right? Had to get airborne. Air to air looks great. Oh, pinwheels out. Bates the DP. That was beautiful. Although, is that the best we got there? I don't know. Was that an accident? I don't know. I, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. All right, that's the go. The curtain has. You brought this upon yourself when you entered my sight. Yeah, I guess with no meter, right? Maybe that's the situation. Scrub goes up. Wanted EX and have and didn't you have a bar? You hate to see it. All right, chance to reset the bracket here. Scrub's looking good. I feel like it's like every game Cake has like such a big lead. And then Hawkman cuts this team in half. Like, I don't even know what's happening. It's like, oh man, this looks good. Like, Cake, you know, zoning, zoning looks good. Everything looks fine. And all of a sudden it's like, oh God. <laughs> Everything suddenly, it just looks real bad. Ooh, a red hit, but then didn't confirm off of it. Yeah, that's a little bit more damage. We'll take those. I mean, the funny thing is, is like this zoning is not doing that much damage or anything, right? So I don't think it really matters too much. Yeah, that's not good. But I don't think it really matters too much if you're a Yo Faith scrub at this point, right? You're just chilling. Uh -oh, here, here we go. Chance. And flies out. Defense looks great. Make it all the way out of there. Get some more chips. Ouch. That hurts. This is absolutely... This team is just pumping out damage. Big pinwheel. Block looks great. Oh, the shockwave didn't hit. Yeah, there's no tag here either. And you get to get... Exactly. Rachel right back in. <laughs> Watching him just, like, smack the projectiles away is very funny. Yeah, George has not lived long so far. Yeah, you know. He sees what he's up against. I'm out of here. I don't need this in my life. This looks good, though. There's a lot of damage for Yofei Scrub. I feel like this is so scary because although, obviously, the situation doesn't look good right now, like, you know, with how scary this team's damage output is, that's a big whip. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. I think we can maybe super here and get the kill before burst is a threat, right? Not quite. Hawkman's still alive, but that's, yeah, not for long. All right. Solo Carmine. Still has some pop resonance. Defense looks good, and the DP looks better. Finds a good spot to pop resonance, too, so you don't lose, uh, lose all the position in the world. Trade, text forward, push blocks, pinwheels out. Oh, try to get the throw. Air dash back, nice. I like that idea so that she couldn't escape the corner as easily, but that should be the pickup. I think we're looking at two apiece. Alrighty, chance here. This is it. I think like every tournament, I'm not kidding. I feel every tournament we've had for COIF has come down to 3-2 and the grand final I, or two three like it's been close i think every single grand final we've just had a lot of close sets 
She, yeah, she's still got, she's got a lot to say. It's always nice to get paid. It's top four payout, as you guys know, chat. But this is our last tournament. And not only that, the winner of this gets a trip on over to CEO end of this month, just like what, three weeks from now? You'll be flying into CEO. And man, this is a Wendy's. You're still talking about this. What's happening? And this is it. W here for scrub means we get a reset, right? We have another set to work with. W for cake, end of the tournament. First place here gets that trip over to CEO. Gets to play some BB tag offline. All right, defense is holding up so far until that. Tag gets punished by the assist. Into the corner here. 900 cannons. And the throw break looks great. Oh my gosh. She flew so far. That's the power of the win. And counter hit and here. There's the tag and the assist, the punish. This is a really rough start for Scrub so far. Every interaction has just been nasty. Nothing looks good. Oh, and the low. She has so much meter, too. And the assist is there. Yeah, what are you going to do? Tag, you just get hit. Ugh. Aquaman's got to be dead, right? Spend some bar, maybe? No. This is bad. I mean, neither character died though, but this is, that has to push block out. It's in such a bad spot. Yeah, this looks this looks brutal. It could happen though. George. <laughs> DP lands. Oh no! Oh no! Not like this! No! A BB tag moment? No, misses. Oh my god, you hate to see it. The tag, the kill. Oh, no way. Jumps in. This looks so bad. One mix up will do it. DP lands. She's not dead. Just barely living. Pinwheel doesn't connect either. Air to air. Runs under. That'll do it. Okay, okay. Scrub's got a chance after that horrendous, horrendous, unfortunate situation. But you gotta chase her. She's gonna chip you. Yeah, there it is. Look at the chip. Next it kills and the instant overhead to do it for cake. There you have it. Our final choose your fighter champion here for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Well played. Congratulations. Not only on getting the job done in our tournament, but getting your trip to CEO. Big congrats, big W. Well played from everybody today. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Damn, that was close. That was tragic. And that was close. So close up. I like that switch up too. I like the new team we saw. Or rather, it seems like the old new team for Scrub. But uh, K gets the job done. That happy birthday I thought was the end. I thought we were having our reset. I was like... There it is, our reset little bracket looking juicy, but it didn't work out. That's how it goes sometimes. Well played though. I hope uh, I hope everybody who played today had a good time. I hope some of you are still gonna go to CEO anyway, honestly. I imagine some of the players are gonna be headed out there anyway. Big GG's everybody. Congrats obviously to Cake on the big dub. Top four gets paid out. Smash GG will contact you, start DG will contact you on the email that you is tied to your account. So if your account if the email is like, you know, BB tag lover 69420, that's the email that they'll reach out to you at. So just keep that in mind. We wrapped up. This is five tournaments over what, seven weeks or something? Seven or eight weeks. Thanks to everybody for coming through for each and every one if you check them out. And uh, all of them are on my YouTube. They're all really great. Congrats to all the winners and everybody who played in the tournament. I appreciate you. They've been mega fun. How do I know your email? I know. You don't have to worry about that.